That better. I fixed it. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. I always forget. Hang on. I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. I got it now. Okay, so I forgot. When I moved some stuff around, my audio things got mixed up. But, hi everybody. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yay! Uh, but uh, as I was just, as I was saying before, you guys couldn't hear me. I got three monitors now. I got my game one right in front of me. I got my streaming software right here, and then I got my chat right here. So hello, everybody up there. I'm reading your stuff a little bit easier now since I can have a full screen dedicated to the live chat. Uh, but let's get right to what needs to be done. Like I was saying earlier, I need to get silage bales, and to get silage bales, I need to take off the conditioner on this thing. So, never mind better. Haha. -ha. Of course it's better. Why would it not be better? Hang on now. So now the audio and video is working. How is it working for you guys? How is your day? Has it been good? Good. We're gonna need to drop the conditioner though that sits on the outside of this. We'll leave that right there. Oh, no problem there, buddy. If you're late, we're just getting started. While I'm over here hitting my own shed, because I can't learn to drive. I can't decipher. I think we're just going to cut the field that's on the outside of my uh, tree line tonight. Oh, excuse me. Probably better not drive on the lawn, though. That might be a good idea. Hello, everybody. Yes, let's definitely shoot for the 300 likes again. That was a uh, very, very, uh... I liked that, that you guys are here having a, having a field day on that one. I think we're going to start back here, and we're going to work our way around uh, this top portion of field. We'll kind of wrap around the tree line, but this is going to be a lot of grass. That is definitely for certain. Let's see, is this grass? That is officially grass. We are cutting the right stuff now. Oh, hello, Mama. That's my Mama. Hi, Mama. Don't do a 360. That sucks. What if I want to do a 360? So relaxing, isn't it? Actually, hang on a minute. I can read chat a little bit better, but what I want to do is I want to minimize my thing here. So give me two seconds. You guys won't be able to hear audio. I want to see some statistics here. There we go. That's a bit better. Yay! Now I can see what's going on here. This is my second time watching your stream. Well, nice. Thank you for joining. Rich farming. Technically, you can get that trailer. It's just that it doesn't have the same wheels or the brand on the side. That is the 82 Studios, otherwise known as my friend David. That is his... Uh, 50-foot gooseneck trailer pack. Bambi just got run over. Okay. I thought this game was PG, but apparently not. Peggy 3, my rear end. But yeah, we're just going to kind of cut around here. Just make some silage bales. Probably, I might do this one half and half as well. Give or take how much grass we actually have going on this one. Bedtime's 9 o'clock. Well, it kind of depends on what time it is for you right now. This will probably be about the same as the last one, about two hours. So, for me, that's probably somewhere around 7 o'clock, 7.30. You restarted the homeowner series. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Actually, uh, I did have a good Thanksgiving, but I'm not going to lie. I didn't really get to fully enjoy it. Because, as you guys know, I was out helping Grant on the, uh, on the, uh, tiling project, and 
I sadly was on the road on Thanksgiving morning. I was supposed to come home on Sunday or Monday, Sunday night or Monday morning, but I ended up coming home Thursday morning. And long story short, I was on the road like since like nine o'clock, and I got back to my house at around noon because I'm about three hours away from Grant. And then uh, my family's Thanksgiving up at my sister's was at noon. So when I got home, I was about 20 minutes late. And I basically ate turkey, came home, sat down, and passed out. <laughs> Currently right now, it is 5.13 for me as well. I would actually... Screen time, I'm glad you bring that up. I've always thought about doing an RP style of things on uh, 5M, because I love 5M. That's actually where I met Jake and all this kind of started. But I have no idea what I would do on that, because I'm kind of boring when it comes to that. I don't really have very good scenarios that I set up doing that. The more you ask to be noticed, the less likely you are to actually be noticed. Um, yes, I was actually very surprised. I was watching the game as it happened, and I was like, okay, here we go. We had a 24 to nothing lead. Watch them choke. Here's Nebraska one more time. But no, they defied the, um, the, they defied the odds. And Spencer called me, like, the next day and is like, hey, I, uh, I, uh, think that'd be kind of cool. If we got a moderator in the chat... I think Cohen might need to be in timeout for a little bit. Kind of like to spam a little bit. Oh, you're here early? Well, fantastic. We got a solid 106. We're already up to 53 likes. You guys are awesome. Let's go. Let's see if we can smash that like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. <laughs> Survival farming. No, it's overused. You can't do something that 15 other people are doing and try and just... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'll leave it to the others that are already doing it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I love that fourth quarter of the Ohio State game. I'm sorry to any Buckeye fans out there, but that was just hilarious to watch. I don't think I've ever seen a top five team fall apart that fast in one quarter. I need Dirk. Where's Dirk at? Where's Derek? I need, I need Dirk. I can't... <laughs> I've already heard rumors that they want to run Ryan Day out of there. I'm like, dude, you've lost two games, two if not three games over a two-year season, and they want to get you out of there. We'll take you. Can we fire a rule and get Ryan? <laughs> Please. We'll take him. Okay, that's it. Sorry, bud. You're you're just. I told you. Sorry, bud. I warned you. You had the I had the Heston mower on the road. Yee yee. Yee yee. You're watching me play FS. I'm watching myself play FS while playing FS. This is amazing. Isn't this great? My mother does not want Michigan to win, but because they're like anybody but Harbaugh. But I honestly, I'm rooting for Michigan. I'd like to see Michigan and TCU playing for the national championship. That to me right there would be an awesome matchup.
What's my favorite mod? Hmm. Not necessarily no. Kinda like a lot. I actually have. The problem is I just don't necessarily have the equipment to do IRL videos. Or at least ones that are that great. I have some of the stuff that I would need, but it's not adequate enough, nor do I have the resources to really do it right now. And the algorithm would just kill me on it because I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be a gaming channel. And it's a hit or miss if a different game will do well. So I kind of have to build... I have to build my my armory, as I might say, before I consider doing something like that. See, even that, I don't really know, because every single mod I put a different level of input into. Got 123 viewers and 80 likes. Come on. And we are only 15 minutes in. I didn't kick or ban anybody. I timed out uh, Cohen, I believe. I told him not to, I asked him not to spam. And then he kept asking, and then he kept asking, and then he kept putting in more things. And I'm like, okay, I warned you. Now I'm going to put you in timeout. So he's not been kicked. No one deserves to be kicked yet. There's been nothing bad done. It's just that we're learning the lessons. What style of farm should I run? I don't even know how to farm, so I don't know why you're asking me. Hello, everybody. For all of you just now joining, we are currently making silage bales. Uh, probably might take about a quarter of this field. Surprisingly, I think I'm actually getting this field done a lot faster than I think I am. I should probably start doing back and forth passes by now, but I haven't yet. You did not know the difference. Well, what if I told you there was no difference? Like an old dairy farm. That'd be kind of cool. The one thing that kind of sucks about doing, like, old style of that stuff is a lot of the mods are usually European. Which, to be fair, some of the stuff is, like, multi-country stuff that really anybody can use. But I like to stick with the most amount of American stuff as I can. And so far, this series has probably proved to be the most efficient on that. I actually do not care to bring back the county line for one reason. I th Well, actually, for, yeah, for one reason. I feel that that series had its place, had its time, and now it's just like the Murphy Brothers. Lay it to rest. Let it be. You can't keep doing something until you run it so far into the dirt that it becomes bad. As good as it was... It needed to just be put to rest and find something new or do something different. Because then it's, yeah. That was my opinion on it. I don't think it ever should be brought back. Like, it can be brought back in a way that we can renew it and maybe try some new stuff. But overall, it just kind of needed to go away. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let that one simmer on if I'm going to rebuild my uncle's farm. I'll say this much. I plan to bring back a farm series, but it might not be the way you guys expect. If everything goes to plan. I got currently a lot of stuff that's building up to that on how I'm going to do it, like get it ready to go. I actually never was a part of, nor really knew about the tournament, so I didn't even really know how it worked. <laughs> you're doing this farm style? You're doing the hay farms? You know, I just realized that we only have about half a tank of diesel in this thing. I better hope I don't run out. <laughs> Uh, 
currently no, Caleb. We do not have any livestock. I will be buying beef cattle once I get a little bit, once I actually get the bales that I need to do for bedding and the feed, then we will actually start doing animals. But up until that point, I just want to uh, build my little farm up. I have $154,000 right now, but that is mainly saved for land, equipment, animals, and feed. But I'm not going to be buying any of the bales or any of the processes that I need to be doing to make any of those products. So I'm going to have to make everything that I'm doing for this series. I think actually I'm going to start going back and forth. Who's my favorite modder? Actually, it's not myself. It is, uh, I would honestly say 82 Studios. David. Dude has some solid work, and he really makes an effort to make the console stuff, like, top-notch. His, uh, I haven't gotten into it yet, but his TLX 9000, I believe it's not the Phoenix, but it's the other one. It's basically the other Marmon, the, the cab over front. That has to be my favorite truck that I've seen from him so far. Like, his Phoenix is really, 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 really good, but I'm honestly starting to like his 9000 a lot more. Because PC can be on a third-party platform. Third-party is the only reason anything that is not licensed exists. Consoles, you can control that. PCs, you can't. Well, you could, but they don't regulate it. If you're referring to the Platinum DLC, yes. I have. A, I don't think I've put it in my descriptions yet, but I have a, a promo... Not a promo, but maybe like a, a refer, referral link to that that you guys can get directly to the Platinum DLC. The Platinum DLC is, I would say, already worth the money. The map is gorgeous. The content in it is actually pretty, pretty top-notch cool. And uh, I do want to take that jackhammer at some point and figure out a way to make it to uh, kind of use it. I think Square's actually already done it on his channel, where he's broken up a uh, like a driveway and repaved a repaved the driveway. Uh, honestly, I think I know who you're talking about with Raptor, but no, I have not kept up with them. I think I need Derek back in here. You know, I'm actually very proud. <gasps> Dirk, there he is! Dirk for the win! Dirk for... <laughs> I'm sorry, Cohen. We've told you multiple times to stop spamming it. The more you attempt to be... You'll, you'll basically get slightly not mocked, but you'll get called out like this. Not in a good way. So we've warned you, we've told you, I've timed you out once, and Dirk coming in. Honestly, it's kind of an up in the air. I would play both 19 and 22. There's not really that much of a difference. I've thought about at some point where I would go back to 19 and do my landscaping series with Rental Rocket Landscaping, but then I've also just considered, you know, not necessarily leaving it as a whole, but opening up some options and maybe doing it a different way. At this point in time, no, we are not... I'm not planning slash am going to be doing a new series with Grant. We kind of already have our stuff set in stone with what we're doing on just... Not necessarily random videos, but we don't really have a series style of video lined up. Or... This is Griffin, Indiana. I honestly don't know what we're going to do with the mining series. Uh, the 90s, I don't believe, I kind of don't, I think that went back to the same story I was saying, that we just, the 80s, I felt was an absolute dumpster fire, not for the fact that the content or the map was bad, it just, it, nothing really flowed like it really should slash could have, Westby was a great map, but for what we were trying to use it for, it just didn't work. And then, uh, technically we had, like, the financial fallout, and then we just jumped to the 2000s just for the sake of Grant needing to have bigger equipment, and we just didn't have it back then. I do play with the steering wheel, and it is a Logitech G27. Discontinued by Logitech, but in my opinion, the best wheel they ever made. 
because you got the entire package of wheels, pedals, and shifters all in one, and it is a quality built product. The G29 is not bad, plus you can use it on Xbox and PlayStation, but I like this one a lot better. It's just solidly built. My other one, I have a, this is my second one that I've had now. The first one I had lasted me eight years. Ford. I honestly don't really care for Westby. Uh, primarily just for the fact that the layout's just... I love the hills and stuff, but there's just not enough on the map to make it worth... I broke it. <laughs> I broke it, 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 it. Whoops. <laughs> uh, note to self, don't put your hand in the middle of the wheel where all of your buttons to attach and honk the horn are. Let's get that, let's get that fixed. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Let's try that again. Um, as for the Years series, no, I would not do that as my own. Just for the simple fact that it wouldn't be nearly as fun without more people. A simple farming series, on the other hand, I would not mind doing that. Uh, just for the fact that you can keep it interesting, you can keep it intriguing, and because I, I can know how to mod, I can throw my own stuff in there, uh, try and make it more immersive. There's just, you can, there's a lot more you can do on a regular farm save without having to worry about mods, transfers, functionings, connections, gameplay, other people's things, yeah. Got 160 viewers, you guys are doing hot tonight. Let's see, I wanna know, if you guys can get out there, let's see this, share, let's see if we can get this thing to hit over 200 viewers tonight. 200 people at a time, let's see what we can do, smash the like button, share the video, or share the stream, and share it around. Let's see what we'll help. Let's see how far we can take this one tonight. You guys actually have really started to pick up on the live streams. Uh, in years past, in months past, whenever I did a live stream, they usually did. Let's just make it simple. They were garbage. Well, now, on a brighter note, they actually are performing a lot better over time, and you guys are part of that. Yes, I love David's too. I love all. I love pretty much every one of David's mods. The one thing that I like the most about a lot of his stuff is that uh, now that I've actually learned how to quote unquote tweak some of the stuff, I leave it as is because he figures out how to make the physics and the functions of the ve of the vehicles, trailers, implements, whatever he's done, they work phenomenally. The only things that I usually ever like to change on his stuff is primarily like on the 50 foot gooseneck, I just put a different set of wheels on it and put a brand instead of lizard on the on the tongue. That's all I did. Literally changed almost nothing in the code. Literally nothing. I just changed a few visuals and called it good. Well, Cohen, here's the thing. I'll give you this one. But you gotta promise me, you'll tone it down in the chat. The first thing you wanna do if you wanna try and be a solid person on the YouTube platform is you gotta have the patience. Anybody can really pick up a camera, record, start playing and doing whatever, but you gotta have the grind, the enthusiasm, the inspiration to try and search for things that are new. There's a whole thing that it just comes with time, effort, patience, and dedication. Without it, you ain't even gonna sniff the turf of success on this. It takes a long time to get in, get into this, not get into this. It takes a long time to actually start mastering and learning how to do this. Even I haven't done it. The hardest mod that I've ever actually had to make technically is the F-Series, the 2017. Just for the fact that it put all of my current skills that I had to the test, I had to learn how to do a different style of wheel scripting, uh, basically, the length of code that the 2020 F-Series had in 19 was like 2,200 lines of code. And that was with errors and extra files and could have been tremendously shorter probably if I'd actually fixed it, cleaned it up, organized it better. 
the 2020 F Series had like 2,200 lines of code. Just the cab of the F Series nowadays alone has about, I think, 1,800 to 2,000. And that doesn't count the beds, that doesn't count the fifth wheel, that doesn't count the entire truck package itself. Ooh, 140. You guys are doing that. Let's see. 300 likes. Okay. Okay. New goal. New goal. Hear me out. 400 likes for this stream. Can we do it? 400. Or zero, 00. I think we can do it. We're already at 140. I think we can do 400. I already am doing homeowners, though. I really don't want to change the map on that. I've, I've, I've thought about that where I like in nineteen I'd switch up the homeowners where I was, but I, I really like where that homeowners is right now. I just kind of like pop like the cabin. It's part of the homeowner series, but it's on a completely different map. I go to the cabin for the weekend. I don't. Last I heard about Lone Oak is that the guy who made it is not converting it. He doesn't plan on doing it, and he doesn't allow anybody to do it, and if they do do it, it's not officially authorized or something. You forgot. What'd you forget? Why are you forgetting something? Are you like Dory, short-term memory loss? Apex PCs themselves are not really expensive. They are expensive, but every single PC that you basically can go and buy right now is going to be priced astronomically through the roof. That is just because of supply. Computer components are getting more and more expensive as the years go on. When I got my computer, which was the mid-tier of squad computers, because mine's a, I believe, if first, if not second generation Squad Plus. That computer at that time was $1,500. I don't even know if the base game, I think the base model of the Squad PC anymore is even that, even below that price. And that's just literally because of inflation. PC. If you can do it, get a PC. Even if your game runs at two frames per second, you'll get such a better variety of things to use. Holy cow. Just in maps alone. I just saw the advertisement for that 4090. I was going to look up how much that thing was. Probably cost as much as a snap-on toolbox. Yes, Stevio is fine. I've had this. This has been this is somewhat the dumbest thing that's been going on around. Is what what Stevio is doing? Did he do? no? Stevio is not hurt. Stevio is not dead. Stevio is doing amazing right now, or at least we know. At least what we last we've heard. Stevio's computer took a dump. He couldn't post videos. He waited to get a new computer. By the time he finally got his computer, it was broken again. By the shipping, it broke. He then, after that, decided that he ended up going back to school, but and got some degree in something or got another job somewhere, and as of recently, he has basically told Grant, I'm hanging up the towel, I'm done, I just want to enjoy my somewhat retirement jobs, doing whatever I'm already doing, and that was it. So he's still doing great, he's just not making YouTube as much anymore, if not any at all. <laughs> Two thousand. Shoot, I was wrong. Snap-on still look more expensive. That's actually not. 
as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, Stevie's a, Stevie O's in like his 50s, I think. That's why we always... That's why we always sadly called him Grandpa and Clutch Dad. Because Clutch is in his 40s. But both of them are extremely... They are children trapped inside of men's bodies. And I love that. Everybody needs to have keep that kid in them. Hey, to be fair, 22 is basically 19 with like a handful of tweaks here and there. It's not going to kill your computer. It's basically the same game. In a good way in some ways and a bad way in others. You should be fine. Austin is actually the youngest out of us all. But not by much. By less than a year. To be fair, I think if you're running a game like this, and you have one of those, it probably wouldn't even exceed somewhat max. Now, now, if you're running those GTA 5 graphics mod videos or Minecraft with circles, maybe it might get that hot. No, I do not farm IRL. Yes, I believe Austin just turned 19. See, that's kind of unfair. I can't rank them by how old they are. All I know is that Austin's the youngest. Stevio was the oldest, which is now taken by Clutch. Grant and Jake are the same age. And I'm a year older than Austin. One seventy eight. You guys are doing fantastic. Actually, I don't necessarily know. I think I would do if I had a map that was built where I'm at, it would be really good for a farm. See, that's the problem. If I had an actual map done for where I'm at, I would like a farm map built for where my uncle's at. And I'd have that for farming, and I'd have my area probably for homeowners. But the problem with my homeowners one is that where I live, there's not, like, it, I got a decent-sized town, but there's no, like, super... Actually, no, nope, there's no supermarkets. There's no... We got two gas stations. But even then, it's like there's no real business stuff that I can go to, like, tractor supply, because it's, like, 30 minutes to my nearest TSC. Well, currently we're only at 36 minutes, and I planned on doing this for about two hours, so we still got about a good, solid hour and 20 minutes to go. We're just doing all the mowing first. We're already down to a third tank of diesel. This is probably going to be cutting it close. I'm actually really liking Griffin, Indiana so far. Still gaming, thank you for the $1 super chat. Hope you're having a great Monday night. They have no map of Vermont. I know, that's sad. Eh, debatable. Imagine having a map of Chicago. <laughs> be police departments all over. <laughs> Again, Mad Max. We'll see. <laughs> Didn't wasn't there an Ohio map in this game at some point? Uh 
Oh, you made this a... Oh, actually, yeah, this would make a really good field. If I didn't make this a cattle farm, this probably, yeah, this probably would have been torn up and made into a regular field. I don't know. That's kind of up to you guys if I want to continue... If I continue the, uh, the tree farm series. I did that just basically as a one-hit wonder. This wheel doesn't have really any force feedback. I never made it work. Because I can care less if it works. You have to be lucky enough to catch a stream where I have uh, the game open to everybody. There are options if you join the membership that you can uh, opt for a business startup YouTube-wise, but on the more expensive side. But for the average viewer, if you guys were to try, uh, like I did the one where it was Help Wanted on Frankfurt, Michigan or something, that's about really the only way that you guys would averagely be able to join a video, which I haven't really had anything to set up uh, to do anything like that yet. I just haven't done one in a while. But that's stuff I need to get more into so you guys can be more inclusive in the channel. I've never been big into the lumber, the lumber in this game. Now, to be fair, the person that's always run the Squad Farms channel has actually changed a multitude of times. I think it used to be Grant, then it was one of Grant's old buddies from like 17. I don't think it was Gorilla Man, but it was somebody in that mix. Oh, who used to do it? And then it was Stevio after that. There was one guy in the middle. I don't think it was Ty I don't think it was Tirebox. But it was somebody there. Who who remembers who used to run the Squad Farms channel before Stevio? Wasn't it like Tirebox or something? No, West Virginia. Country road take me home. To the place. You know? I honestly don't really have an opinion on New Holland because to be fair, I don't really I don't really do a whole lot with them, which is which is funny because a lot of the farms in my area are actually New Holland farms. The families that are around my farm around my area, they are one of them actually owns a New Holland dealer, and then uh only one of the families, only one of the, like, branches of the families is uh, a deer operation. The rest are either all Case or New Hollands. There's a lot of deer farmers out here, but, like, the one that the field's right across from me, that's a New Hollands. The original 5020 mod, I have no idea, but I've, uh, I've had my fair share of opening that thing up and making it the way I like it. Favorite Oliver tractor. I honestly don't really have a favorite Oliver tractor just because of the fact that I don't really know what consists of the Oliver, uh, Olivers, but really any of the old, what would be considered like the Deer 5020 or the Alice Chalmers D9s, just those big, old, brute tractors that were just with the Detroits in them that just screamed. Those things were the, those things are awesome. I love those tractors. Technically, yes, they are owned by the same company, the CA, the CNH or CNS or something, but they're not actually, they don't really do the things together. Uh-oh. Dirk, we got a booby ad. Yes! <laughs> Dirk's on it. Dirk's on the booby ads. Farmer Nick and Tire, okay, so Tire Bog, yes. Tirebog was in there, but it was Farmer Nick. I forgot about him. Diesel. Because I'd rather have the option, I'd rather have the ability to tow more if I so chose to, 
because in reality, if you have a truck, gas mileage is irrelevant. You don't buy a truck to get 50 miles to the gallon. You buy a base model Toyota Prius or Toyo or Honda Civic with a four banger or a two banger or even a one cylinder if you're really going for that. Favorite Ford tractor, 3600, two wheel drive, small wheels utility tractor. That or the 8N. Still gaming, coming at it again there with the $2 Super Chat. What a G. We got 183 on the view count, and I can't see where the likes are. All I know is that it still has got a 1 on it. So if you guys haven't yet already, we're going to see how high up we can get that like count and the current view count. So like, share, subscribe, and uh, keep enjoying the fun. Uh, I don't believe Gorilla Man still makes his own videos. Last time I checked, he was actually, uh, he was doing something with one of his new businesses. That's what I've heard from Grant, at least. Yes, I did watch the Huskers. And, uh, I was, I was ecstatic that they won, but I was also not surprised that they almost blew a 24-point lead. Which they did. They blew, uh, 17 points off that lead. Hello there, Lulu. Glad you could join. Dodge truck. Come on, man. He's got another dollar on the dollar on the count. So a total of four fabulous dollars by Still Gaming 43, but a favorite Dodge. It's kind of difficult because I don't necessarily have one. All I know is that I really, really like 3,500 dualies from them. They just... They just scream, like, stance. They are sweet-looking trucks. Favorite truck. Again, I don't necessarily have one. All I know is that I prefer a 2011 to 2016 style of Ford. Technically, I really like the 08 to 2010 body style with the 6.4, but you could do a 6.7 to the 6.4 swap and make it a reliable truck, because I do like the generations of that those Super Duties. That, in my opinion, was like the last beefy old stock looking farm truck from Ford was that 26, 2011 to 2016 model. It just had that uh, stance to it. I actually already have, but it has been converted. It is the 2008 F450. That was converted by DTG. I've heard about that. I haven't really gotten any updates on it, though. 6-0, they sound better. I've actually already answered the Oliver question. I don't even really know what Oliver has. All I know is I like the old stocky big ones like an Alice Chalmer D9. I don't do console. Never have, never will. Probably not. I don't really do mods anymore that, uh, because the problem with the 6.4 mod is that there's no real good models for them. Yeah, 7.3s are... Well, no, duh, you only gave me two options, the two worst engines of the past two decades. <laughs> Of course, I'd choose a 6.7 or a 7.3 over those two, but, you know, if a bulletproofed 6.0 comes into play, though, those things sound absolutely nasty. I love those things. Now, you gotta get a 7.3 IDI. You know, better yet, let's get a Windsor. Get a big block Windsor. 470 Windsor. <laughs> Of 
Carson, I've already explained what happened to Stevio. He's not dead. He's just taking... He's basically giving up on... Not give, he's basically stopping YouTube to pursue the game of life. Give you all the money out of your phone. What a G. The MVP for tonight is still gaming. Man gets a shout out. If you guys haven't already, go, go, go get some, go show some love to that guy. He dumped his wallet out just to save the channel. What a G. Again, I don't, all these engines I personally don't really have. All I know is that I'm not going to buy a truck with a four cylinder in it. All right. Is that, is that fair? I don't really care what engine it has in it as long as a pickup doesn't have a four cylinder I'll buy it. I've hauled bales with a 7.3 before. You know, actually I'm really a fan. You know what the best motor from Ford was? The three valve 5.4. That thing is an absolute unit. And let the comments unfold. <laughs> if you're referring to the brand new Super Duties, no. It looks like they tried to make an F-150 just fat. I didn't even really care for the new F-150 because to me it looks like the 2009 to 2014 14 style with just newer headlights. Two thousand five Honda Accord. Thing, uh, the car's name is Rhonda. Rhonda the Honda, and uh, she gets me to A and B, just fine. And she has over two hundred and twenty-five thousand on the clock. Technically, the Ranger was, but you know that thing just that that the Ranger's a different breed. Yes, I do still have the Tornado. It's just it's not my daily anymore. She's starting to get a little like, you know, thir nine, a 30-year-old GM problems. Most recently, I fixed the brakes on the car, so now it stops better. Used to not be able to get the bra any brakes to stop on that car. Now I can get the wheels to lock up. Actually, the Ronda the Honda used to be my sister's car. And then I bought it off of her. And I've taken care of that car like it's a Cadillac. Oil changes every three to 4,000 miles, new filters every time. I put a new steering wheel in the car, gonna redo the headliner, gotta do a new windshield in it. Well, I'm going to have to put a new windshield in it. Got floor mats, I've detailed the car multiple times, new door handles, new radio. I'm taking care of that car. You don't get any ladies. Nobody wants me. At least yet. That and I'm very picky. Never had a date in my life. Rhonda's all I need, though. <laughs> right. Ooh. No, if you're gonna get the Ram, you gotta get the TRX. If you're gonna do a truck, you gotta do it right. You gotta throw, you gotta throw the biggest engine you can get in it, so you can get the worst fuel economy possible. Famous last words. Yet, yes, eventually. Fazbear Entertainment. Hey, can I get a job for the for the 1987 year, please? I need someone to bite out my frontal lobe. All right, Al. Uh, yeah, Alexis, thank you for stopping by tonight. I'm glad you could be here. Yes, but no. There's a lot of things that I would change about that mod, as that was actually something I was going to do at some point, but anybody can say that, so it is what it is. But I have a lot of stuff that I probably would have done different to that truck. But the truck overall, as is right now, is a fantastic mod. 
Dirk! <laughs> yes, yes, Dirk. We do not drive trucks for fuel economy here. Famous last words. Okay, so now that we're actually done with that, 194 strong, and we're finally getting on to the next portion of our stream. That looks good. I like that. I'm actually going to get an overhead view of that. You guys actually might get a close-up glimpse of this. Now this looks kind of cool. That is beautiful. Can we get that as a wallpaper, please? That's a, that, that, that's, a, that's really cool. Cost $100 to get me 300 miles. <laughs> Split that in like thirds and that's about how far I can get. Reset. Light mode. Falling out of the sky. Turn that on. Ow. Ooh, you got your homework done, bud? Good. S stay, stay educated. Don't become like me. Uh, I think we're going to have to get the dodge out to get this thing out, probably. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have to get the bail wrapper. Uh, this is going to be a... I don't want to do this now. This is going to be a lot of work. Uh. There we go. While we're at it, let's get the ram hooked up, because I'm going to need this at some point anyway. There we go. Probably the 4020. A little bit bigger, can do a little bit more. I'm going to grab the... Four-wheeler, though. So I don't need that. I will need hay at some point. But I already have those hay bales, so... We're gonna run up to the... Other shed here, quick. And grab the... The Iron Bull is actually David's 82 Studios 50-foot gooseneck pack. I just changed the brand from Lizard to Iron Bull and then put some newer rims on it. That's all it is. You catching a stream for the first time? Well, I'm glad. I'm not going to start going off the list here of tractors cuz I don't know what half of these things are. I know what I know what those ones are, luckily, but when you start throwing out Olivers and Alice Chalmers and Case Minneapolis Moline, I have no idea what those ones are. I need to get that out, though, so let's just put this in the shed to get it out of the way. We gotta take this over to the field. Playing the wiggle wobble on that one. Oh, I'm saying that I need to put this tractor on the baler, but in order to do that, I'm gonna need to put duels on this. So, you guys will have to kind of get that going. Oh, alright, Dirk. Well, we'll see you later, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. You met, I met you at the Farm Progress show? Well, fantastic. It all depends on generation if I was doing a 150 versus a 250. But in general, I'd probably pick a 250. Just for the sake of, you know, towing and, like, it, it's, it's a bigger truck. Hey, we got someone in here, Mr. Boomnastic. Well, spelled wrong, but close enough. Good lord, I thought this thing would be able to get up the hill a little bit better than this. How heavy is this thing? 
Oh, we're slipping, that's why. I do actually have merchandise, Ashley. If you go and look in the description of really any of the videos or my home tab, I actually have links and uh, direct already access from my homepage to the Rental Man merch shop. So now we got to get the Oliver out. So actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Everybody, um, we need to be need to be quiet in the chat. Quiet in the chat. We are going to turn off all motors to hear this wonderful Detroit. This has to be my favorite sounding tractor mod on the face of the earth. And it's indoors too. Oh, 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 wrong button, wrong, wrong button. That was totally meant to happen like that. The 6M is actually... It, it, it's my edit, but it's not my mod, so I'm not going to release something that's not mine. <laughs> Unless I had permission, but that's a Giants Mod Hub mod, so... Okay, let's get this a little bit grouped up better. Got 212 viewers, and I see a two on the likes. We're getting a little bit closer to that 400. I will give the chat a virtual cookie if we can um, if we can get to 400 likes by the end of this stream. Possibly, but Jake's truck was an absolute, how we say, dumpster fire of a bunch of models thrown together. Like, in the end, it was a very, very solidly put together truck, but a lot of those mods that I did from 19, I don't really want to do a mod like that again. Just for the sake of, it, there's just so much, uh, there's just so much random things thrown together, and it's just hard to keep track of it all. That is true. That Dodge was absolutely phenomenal. But like I was saying, especially when I was doing like the piecing together, that's the problem. If I ever wanted to redo the mod, all of the mods that I've done now, all of the parts, components, as much as I can is all in one save in like Blender. The CAD softwares that I can edit that stuff with. All the stuff on like that truck was... The heck was that? I heard like a beep. But it was all. Oh. <laughs> it's low on fuel. I was like, what the heck was that? I scared the living bejesus out of me. Okay, uh, we have no fuel in this thing. So, um, can we get to 400 likes before I run out of people? I didn't. I get it. I'm low on fuel. Shoot. I know I'm low on fuel. Shh. Trying to save money. I'm going to run out of fuel and that's probably it's probably true. No, I need I need <laughs> 
<laughs> Hashtag, I need diesel. <laughs> I need diesel. Give me diesel. Shush. I know I'm getting low. It's actually a really annoying sound. They have all the sounds that could have been chosen for that. That's the sound it was. Actually, it's kind of works the other way around. You start with a model in Blender, and then you put it to GE. That's why it sucks because if you put it, if you take a mod from GE and throw it in Blender, anything that was done to that mod now has basically been messed up. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some diesel in this thing because that beep's gonna drive me nuts. I got a few. I got a fuel tank on the farm. Okay, we're gonna. We're going to get diesel. I'm not listening to that beep the entire night. I, I've never heard it. It scared me first because I thought it was like a... I thought that. I, it caught me off guard the first time. I'm like, what the heck is that? I've never had a vehicle get so low that it's actually sounding. Question is, where is my fuel tank? Of course it's right over there. Oh, please tell me I can fit. Please tell me I can fit. I can fit. What a G. Shush! There we go. Now we're good. Actually, that's, uh... How much is it to fill up that tank? If I wanted to go... How much did that technically cost me to do that? It cost me 155 bucks to fill this thing. What the heck? That's stupid. I don't have any of the slow refueling mods in. Because I don't really like to wait like 10 minutes to be able to go and virtually mow a grass lawn. All right, let's get back to it. Hey man, this is before inflation hit. All right, let's try this again. Well, it kind of depends on which one. Actually, no, they're about the same. I think when I have my Honda on average, because I try not to let the car go under half tank, but when I have to fill it up completely, 45 to 50 bucks. But I also have a 17 gallon tank on both cars. And also, happy belated birthday in NASCAR. Well, not necessarily belated because it's not late, but. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. If you're looking for a timestamp on this, just remember I was bailing, uh, I just got done refueling. I'm going around a corner. Well, dude, it's a Honda. It's not a 50, it's not a 47 gallon diesel truck. Only 17 gallons. I also have like reward stuff though that I do. Because I have that Dino Pay stuff from Sinclair, and I get 20 cents every single time off my gallons when uh, I use I like register to get gas at the pumps on the phone. Like if I reserve pump number three down at the gas station, I can literally get 20 cents off on any single every single fuel. You need to get yourself some Sinclair Dino Pay. That's what you need to do. I say gas took an absolute, like, dumpster, not dumpster fire. It took, like, a nosedive in prices when I got back from Iowa. So it was, like, four blocks, because that's the other thing. I do not put any gas with ethanol in my cars. I have not put gas with ethanol in my cars, if I can help it, for, I think, two years now, two, three years. 
And uh, usually I pay for gas and it was like four bucks and now it's like three fifty. Indeed I am. I'm, uh, I'm in the market. <laughs> One of my favorite that's actually like family friendly jokes about uh, the best way to find a date is the, the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> How do you find single, single people in your area? Just, it's filtered by, by the wedding. <laughs> I can't even remember how it goes. It's like you look for, you look for wedding dresses that are in your area to know who's around you or something. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite jokes. Are they really, though? Here's the thing, though. They might all be out there, but I'm very picky on who I'm taking. Hot. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. If we're talking, if we're talking that, we we gotta do the um, sexy Ukrainian women in your area. That's those are the best ads that you can get. Sing <laughs> Single Russians in your area. <laughs> I miss those ads. Those like would make my night when I'd see those. Just like wow, that's almost it's almost bad as clickbait is half of. Uh, Half of reality joke prank videos that go on YouTube these days. 500 hot blonde, 500 miles used. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. Well, so far we're at 200 viewers, and uh, with all of you in here, how has your day been going? Let me ask you guys some questions. So we're doing well. Is the stream looking good? Is it sounding good? What is red and bad for your teeth? A brick. Hmm. Sounds like something the Mafia would say before they absolutely just beat you, beat you senseless down in, down in Jersey. Yay! No hiccups this time, because I'm actually intelligent. I'm running my best internet for streaming, and I've actually gotten an Ethernet cord that's running right to the router, so we are getting absolutely phenomenal. I'm loving the chat up here. I love the fact I can see the chat right above the screens. <laughs> you came to harass me with questions? No, I'm here to harass you. Everybody, make fun of Ty. Go. You want attention? I'll get you attention. No, 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 no. The Oliver is staying. This is one of my favorite tractors on this farm. It's like one of the only tractors that are actually different. I will not show the video of my worm doing the doing me doing the graduation doing the worm, but you can look it up. The video is titled "The Time That I Fell at My Own Graduation." You know, I don't think I will. There's a time and a place for the internationals, and this farm is not one of them. Sadly. That's a tough. That's a tough order. I don't think we can get to 500. The problem is that's not my mod. That's a Giants mod hub mod that I've done. And I don't really know how to get in contact with that guy to ask if I could release my version. <laughs> Plus, it's still got some problems. If you guys haven't heard the song, uh, what's the name of it? It's the one where it's uh, the. Ford got stuck, and the Chevy got stuck, and the uh, uh, 
Uh, something got stuck when the Dodge showed up, but the Dodge got stuck in a tractor rut, which eventually pulled out the Ford and the Dodge Equal Opportunity. <laughs> he called some friends. <laughs> Bring your truck. The K-1500 is not even mine. That's done by, like I was saying, uh, Cooper out of Blake, uh, Blake Mod, uh, Blake McLean. Uh, he, he said that I could work that thing and release it if I wanted to, but I'll need to do a handful of buck applications to it to get it up to the things that I'd like it for it to be. Because it is both a Silverado and a Sierra, but it's missing some parts that I wanted to put into it. The truck got stuck, that's right. That native prairie soil. Agriculture Canada is definitely not going to be happy with us. <laughs> It, well, Blake wasn't, that one, the truck wasn't done by Blake. Cooper is the one that did the truck, but Blake can do a heck of a lot of good mods, too. I love working back and forth with Blake. I haven't talked to him in a while. We used to trade projects back and forth with testing and uh, just trading parts, but I haven't talked to him in a bit. i got to kind of get back into the modding phases. I do my own modding, but I just kind of do it on the side now for little projects. I haven't really done anything major yet. Really, ever since I did the massive release of the five vehicles, like the Avalanche and the Chargers and the Mustangs and all that, I just haven't really touched modding as much as I used to. Just not really a bad thing, nor is it a... Not a good thing, but it's not a bad thing. It's just... Times change. 135 likes. Seriously? We're already at 270? Holy cow! Come on, guys, you can do it, let's go! No, I do not make console mods, sadly. Alright, well, thank you for stopping by. Have a good night. <laughs> In all fairness, that 17F series is... It's a death sentence for any computer that does not have a decent graphics system. <laughs> That's just, that's just due to the model that I got. That has nothing really to do with, like, of course it has everything to do with, like, the level of detail that was put into it, but uh, compared to any other model, that truck was just way too high poly, uh, in essence, detail. Like, it just had too much going on. Yeah. My birdhouse is the reason I don't make console mods. Mines can stick where the sun don't shine. Garbage. <laughs> it had 12 lines of code, eight of which belong to the store data. I'm gonna blow that up. I'm gonna blow this. Wait, hang on, hang on. Do I still have that? Don't I have that bird? I think I have the birdhouse at the, at the yard here. I'm gonna go back to the house quick. Oh, breaking it. I think, hey, my Christmas tree's here. Where's that birdhouse? There it is. Yeah, that's the birdhouse that I tried to get on console. They didn't like it. I actually hand-built this entire thing. I hand-built this. It's all created, modeled, and done by me. Giants didn't like it. Uh-oh. Uh. Hey, uh, <laughs> the Oliver wasn't done correctly, so I have to toggle through to find it. There we go. mobile mod. I mean, if you mean that they drive, then yes. But phone mods? No, I don't. Exactly! It should have been named Polish Birdhouse. That would have solved all the problems. It literally does nothing. It gains you no money. It does nothing. It doesn't even give you incredible house points. 
<laughs> it literally is a, a tiny house on a stick. It sits in your yard. It doesn't even delete grass or level the ground. Well, actually, hang on a minute. I think I know why. Think about it, people. Giants is a German company. World War II jokes intensify. <laughs> I'm so... That's bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, it's a birdhouse. It's not doing any harm. Keep politicals out of the chat, please. Yes, we have our own political views, and I'm more conservative, but uh, let's keep the politi politics out of the chat. We're here for fun, not to uh, not to start that. Because um, I didn't know you could make phone mods, and uh, I'm not going to be the one that dives into figuring out how those work. <laughs> Birds work for the bourgeoisie. Dude, 2020 was literally just to recharge all of the pigeons. All the birds had to be swapped out with new batteries. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. I love that one. Yes, you missed everything. Um, the apartment had a blackout, and Beyonce performed in uh, performed a concert in the movie theater. Actually, no, in the kitchen. I take that back. Uh-oh. Booby ads are back. Hang on a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, no. No, I don't, I don't know. No, no. I'm, 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 I'm sad, but I'm not that sad. <laughs> Don't you just love sad ads that have no reason being where they're at? I, Canada? No. I don't live in Canada. Austin lives in Canada. It's true. I'm very lonely. I live on a steady diet of government cheese. <laughs> and I live in a van down by the river. <laughs> I'd like Chris Farley have to die. We could be eating a steady diet of government cheese, living in a van down by the river. <laughs> Oh, don't hit that. I want to die it. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm I'm really starting to spam. Delete. Cause no one wants you. You are a sad disgrace to this entire world. No one cares about you. Boom. Okay, enough of the booby ads. Enough booby ads. I want. I just want. I just want to. I just want to make my hay field. Is that too much to ask? I have. I'm trying to, but they just keep popping back up. You can delete them once, but then they make a separate account, and then the bots just continue. Can't you see? I'm just trying to make grass bales. Is that too much to ask? I'll tell you what happened. Bots are happening. Things that are trying to convince you to do inappropriate things are trying to make their way into your mind. Don't fall into those traps. Stay humble, stay kind. Do the right thing. Best budget steering wheel. Anything that is not mainly made of plastic. Which, to be fair, that is basically Giant's Logitech wheel. That would honestly be probably the best for the farm sim thing. Getting the farming sim steering wheel. That's a good starter. But if you want something that's actually quality, you're going to want to look at something that's like a Logitech G29 or Thrustmaster 
something. I think Jeff Fabiano actually has the, uh, he actually has the sponsorship, I'm not sponsorship, but he has something going with Thrustmaster, and they have a new wheel lineup series that is basically made for you guys, for beginners with the wheels. So go check out some of that stuff. How was my day? It was good until I started seeing all of the booby ads. Because apparently we just had an entire five minute spam between all of the, uh, half of those. And it's sad. It's really sad. Because you can't just leave a group of fun individuals to have a fun stream on a farming game. Because, no, we gotta find hot, unreal people in your area. I can't. Why, why is it so important for me to go on a date? Why, why is that important to you guys? Huh? Explain. I need answers, and I need them now. Oh, no. <laughs> you wanted to see Buck Jr. <laughs> That's a little forward, isn't it? Yes, I'm going to throw a Dodge Grill on a Chevy body with a Ford's bed. <laughs> it would look awful. See that, see, that man has it figured out. Jace has got it figured out. Quiet down, babe. I'm flying to play Farming Simulator. Mrs. Boomnastic will come in time. We gotta give it some. We gotta give it some time. I like. I do like doing a mixture of it. You can't have too much of doing it yourself, but you also can't have too much of doing it with others. Just for the fact that it it, it ruins the fun of the both of them. Landon needs a timeout. Landon? What's he been doing? I honestly haven't really seen anything from Landon. Wait. Hold on. So he's putting a Dodge... He's putting the Cummins motor in a square body Chevy. But... But... But the Chargers... As useless as it can be. It's, it's not. It's not. What the? What did the charger ever do to you? The charger is getting me to 400 likes on this stream. Which, if you haven't yet, we're gonna take a quick second break to the motion that if you haven't already, consider liking this stream. We're trying to reach a goal of 400 likes, and we will not stop the stream until we do. <laughs> Uh, looks to be three quarters of a tank. What thing is eating fuel? My Bugatti is blue. What color is your Bugatti? <laughs> you know what's better than, um, you know what's better than playing Farming Simulator? Watching Mater become a vampire. I've come to siphon your gas. <laughs> Man. Yes, Buck Bugatti will be whatever color he wants it to be. Which will be no color because I will probably never buy a Bugatti. If I could buy... If I could buy, like, a very high-performance sports car, though, it'd be a McLaren T1. I think I'd probably have to get it wrapped or customly painted. I would like it to be the 720p Spiders, like, turquoise blue. I don't know what the name of that blue is, but it's like a... 
It's a really weird metallic blue, and it is gorgeous. Oh, it's so good. It's like my favorite car to drive around, like, really fast, but, like, sleek and stock and Forza. In my dreams, yes. I totally know that buying a $1.3 million car that is already just probably unreliable as can be is very somewhat out of reach. You know what? You can dream. That's why I'm sticking to my Boss 302 that only cost me $40,000. Fuck me. Alright, Locust. Well, thanks for stopping by, bud. Hope you enjoy your game and be a lot more productive than I'm being right now, because I still haven't touched a Baylor yet. Which was the point of this video. And we still gotta haul all this back. Ah, oh. It's gonna suck. Well, here's the thing. What color is your Bugatti? <laughs> no, but actually, I like Bugattis for one particular reason. When you look at a Bugatti, or really any sort of sports car, there's the reason they have two seats and a bus has 40. To argue, you could basically say that Rolls Royces are basically the same kind of thing. They're the same kind of deal. Like, why buy a Rolls Royce when you could basically buy a Mercedes at half of its price, and then in reality, you could go and buy an American or Japanese car at the high end here and cut that price in half. Of course, you're not getting the actual quality of what's there, but you're still getting a high end car. I think it was uh, either graveyard cars. Or I didn't know that tree had collisions. Okay. I think it was either Graveyard Cars or Gas Monkey Garage when the one guy's like, this car is gorgeous, it's perfect in every way, but no, this car is gorgeous and I love it, but it's got one problem, it's got too, too many doors. It was like a, it was, I think it was an Impala, but it was the four-door model instead of the two-door. <laughs> the 6020 is already on the, or, on the tree farm though. I don't need to buy another one. It really serves no purpose on this game. On this save, I don't know. I don't know when that'll come out. You send two dollars. You send two dollars. I don't know. No, 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 no. You don't drive it. Your chauffeur drives your Rolls Royce. If anybody's seen Hoobie's Garage, though, when he buys that. I can't remember the brand of it was, but he basically buys, like, an older 2000s version of a Rolls Royce limousine, and he takes his kids to school in it, like, come on, man. That dude's absolutely phenomenal. I love his video when he goes over, like, mid-90s luxury cars, he's like, how much useless gizmos you can throw in a car is what defines it as luxury today. Sure, Mercedes back then, they were really, really nice and unreliable as can be, but, you know, they know how to make a car. And then you had, like, the Buick Park Avenue, the indestructible tank that nobody bought. Hmm. I could replace the Charger with a Mustang, but the problem is I don't have a Mustang that's of that generation. I could use my converted version that was done again by BTG and all those guys, but it's missing once again a handful of things that I uh, used to have on it that I'd like to redo or do whatever it is. Nah, we're keeping the charger. It very much is. I really want it. I really like it. I should be doing it like this. We're going to play first person here for a little bit. No, never mind. No, we're not. Got 190. Ooh, I see a three. We're closing in on that 400. If we can hit 400, I want more. I want to see 450, which even though I can't see it. But I put a CB in my truck. 
Farm sim or real life? Because in real life, I don't have a truck. Well, of course you'd take a Chevelle. Who wouldn't take a Chevelle? Chevelles are cool, though. I can't decipher whether or not if I like the uh, the 66 body style more than the 70. The 69's really cool too, but I kind of uh, don't know. I like the 69's back end, but the 70's front end. If I can kind of collect all of this. All right, I think we're actually going to be finally able to uh, maybe start failing. That was kind of a catastrophe end of there. So I think we're going to do a majority of these as grass bales for silage. So we successfully went through basically a full tank of diesel with this tractor by by doing that. That's kind of actually be nice and park it up properly. What kind of rake is that? This is a frontier rake. It is a frontier WR5417. Oh, I thought I could clear it all. Nope. Leave that there. Dang, that thing sounds so good. Ooh, that's a tough question. Wait a minute, what? No way! I did not know it could do that! That's cool! Okay, back to the front loader though. Oops, when you put it in here. Uh, I think the fastest I went was probably six when I was stringing with the rows, six or seven, maybe more. No, I was stringing, I was stringing tile at about an average of seven, eight miles an hour. But when Blake, no, not Blake, when Ben, Iowa, Iowan Farmer was doing the quad track, I think the fastest he went was maybe two, maybe three. I forgot that this thing needs a hair bit more, uh, hair bit more hay. Unless I can actually just, I don't remember, did they fix that where you could, uh, hey, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so that gets that out of the way. We want the big bales. Whoop. That is not how you do that, but that's how we're going to do that. Here, here, here we go. How long is this going to take? Yes, this is the Vermeer pack thing. Oh, it's 
thought I had it. There, here, here we go. 316. I say I can only see the three, so I know we're at 300 something. So, here's will have to be my eyes on the light count. Yes, I was out there tiling with Grant. This is a part currently public mod on the Giants Mod Hub, but I've done my own edits to it. This is the 6M series that's on the Mod Hub, but it does not have these fenders, these blinkers, or this side muffler and all that sort of stuff. It's a little bit more bland, so it's not exactly like this, but it's pretty close. Yes, it could, but I don't have a better looking wide rake. Unless, hang on. Pause for effect. We're going to check something here. I have currently this. I don't know how big that wingspan is on that. Cause I, that might be wider. But I can't tell. Oh yeah, that's definitely... Well, maybe not by much. I think I started doing YouTube in late... Early 2019, late 2018? Otherwise it was late 2019, early 2020. Somewhere around there. You'll remember Mr. Gymnastic. But will you really? This is a lot higher yielding of grass. I'm getting a ton of males out of this. Two liters short of a good time. Oh shoot, we're already an hour and 45 minutes into this. You guys are making time fly by. I personally do not like square bands. I like round bands. I live in Ohio. Let's put it like this. I'm from Nebraska, but I live in I no. I live in Nebraska, but I live in Ohio. Oh. Yes, I do. But you know what? I kind of find that relaxing and fun. I think the favorite, my favorite part about Farm Sim is the diversity that you can make in it. What you can do, the levels of different things. If you want to be, well, of course you have to be on PC to really make it actually work. You want, but you want to be a hay farmer, you can do that. You want to be a rich millionaire, you can do that. You want to run a police department, you can do that. You want to run a server, you can do that. You want to run for president, you can do that. You want to run a useless tree farm, you can do that.
This one. But but this is this is my grass field. What the heck? Yes, I do still gaming. I have a, I have officially released an entire like four tier levels worth of membership that you can click on the home car, uh, home page and uh, look into that. I think I have four tiers, three of them being regular, and then the last one is more or less a business investment for content creators. But the three levels are the Uncle Buck supporters. Rental Man Club, and then Mr. Brumastic fans, which it goes 99 cents to like two or three dollars, and then it goes up to ten dollars. So, if you are more than willing to support the channel, go feel free and check out the memberships. But um, if you just want to sit here and watch some live streams and videos, why by me? Really, anything that does not have the graphics card of a potato. And you should be fine to run this game. I have not played Red City. Now the boundaries on this map are kind of iffy from time to time. I'd have to say my favorite Chevy pickup has to be like the... Well, technically it's two generations. And again, it's the Doolies. I am a sucker for Doolies, but it's like the 2008 to 2000, and I think right before they went to the new body style, um, the Doolies, like 3500s, that is a beef truck. Those are beefy. I could and I would, but here's the problem. Unless they fixed it since, the self-propelled Baylor does not like to work with steering wheels. Wheel. Wheel any day of the week. Because one, it allows you to feel more immersed in what you're doing, but also, itch in my nose, but also, um, it really does help you in real life to do this stuff. I learned how to back a trailer, use this equipment, know my surroundings, and become more familiar with this stuff because I'm operating with a wheel. Fuel tank on this tractor is a lot fine. The fuel economy on this one's a lot better. Until I hear the beep, I'm not going to go fill it up. Yes, Grant's PCs for the Apex, those will run the game. They are built strategically, not strategically, but they're generally built that they will run this game. Now, the base model versus the most expensive model are going to differ in how much and how well it will run the game. But on a general basis, if you're getting any of those Apex gaming PCs, they will run Farm Sim just fine. The starting one is basically is about as good nowadays as mine was previously. Uh, maybe a little bit less. But I've also modified my computer with some storage and memory and things that help me do what I do. Actually, I do have the slippage mod in. That's half the reason I use this tractor because that 4430 over there, it slips going up the hill. It does not have good traction. Let's just put it this way. Wherever we all live, in the end, we all live in Ohio. Except for people in Ohio. They live in Ohio. The 
we actually don't have the Mustang in this game. It, I think it might be in the store. I just don't have one bought. But we can do a burnout in the Charger. We can just do an entire burnout down the main street. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. <laughs> a fellow Ohioan in the chat. Buckeye State Farms. Go and give that man a look. He has some fun. He also drives a Ranger. He's a unit. 174 viewers. 76. What I need you guys to go do right now. As a fellow Ohioan. Whoever has not already been in here, Buckeye State Farms actually makes videos. Go give that man a subscribe. Go check him out. And see if you like his content. If you don't, you can come back to me. But no, Chad. Uh, Chad's another guy. He actually does. Uh, he does make a handful of mods himself. So give the man some love. Show the guy some support. No wonder I'm so weird. It's the perfect crime. I just kind of have to eventually just do one. There's never any setups. The problem is now I'm just now getting into like starting to do YouTube more. So I'll see if I can start making some more of that stuff. But there's no set time guarantee that any of it will happen. So it's just kind of patience and uh, staying that's not going to be good on the fence hosts. Uh-oh. Now the fence is from Ohio. Hang on a minute. That's a fence. It is a fence. And that's a grass. And that's a tire. That's a blinker. This is going to be a bail and a half right here. Oh, surprising it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. Yay! Sorry guys, I have a very bad itch in my nose. <laughs> Yes, I am in Grant's new snowmobiling video. We are actually in this field, believe it or not. Yes, and uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the funny thing about Spencer. Whenever I actually go over and uh, hang out with Grant and Spencer, I actually stay the night at Spencer's house. <laughs> so I basically bunked at Spencer's place a number of times. And it actually reminds me of my own home, which is pretty, which is pretty ironic. So I can usually get a pretty good night's sleep there. And yes, to answer your question, I do enjoy Spencer. Spencer is a very good man. He's a good noodle. <laughs> I sent him a little too hard on that one. <laughs> what makes it even funnier is that in the mornings, we're both basically somewhat early risers, is if I was sleeping on the air mattress in the living room, he'd walk out into the living room if I wasn't up yet, and start playing Mr. Boombastic by Shaggy. <laughs> you bonehead. Mr. Boombastic? Mr. Boombastic is from Ohio. It is confirmed. <laughs> uh, 
I do not believe I've ever listened to that uh, magic. Oh, there's a bale. There's a bale there. If anybody was wondering, I found it. Mr. Boomastic is my original channel name. It's my original username that I still to this day use and sign my mods. If you ever are able to get any of my mods, when you look in the mod description that says who created it, it still says Mr. Boom, Mr. Boom, uh, Nostal. We will never forget the legend of Mr. Boom Nostal. This is going to be a lot of things. <laughs> We're really trying to sneak Ohio in on this one. Not going to lie, what? Does anybody know what the origins of the Ohio joke is? I'm still trying to figure that out. We are currently at 40, and that is not counting, because I didn't reset the bail counter. I think there's like 12 in there, so we're probably somewhere around the upper 20s, early 30s. Lower, lower 30s, upper 20s. Somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, Spencer's a good guy. I like him. I'll put it like this. If you talk to Grant versus talking to Spencer, Spencer is the more um, generally social person. Grant is very business-like when you talk to him. Like, they're both great, phenomenal people, but like in terms of, I'd say, social, socially, Spencer's the more, like, you can just connect with him a little bit easier. Grant, you have to get used to. Seventy-eight likes. If you guys haven't yet already, out of the 160 current views watching this, please consider liking this stream and giving a drop of a like, like I've already said, and subscribing. I love having the chat sit right there. I have a third monitor now, it's up above me. Yay! We're trying to make our goal of, oh, 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 gotta close the back first. We're trying to make a goal of 400 likes on the stream. Yeah, I know who Joe Mama is, do you? Ooh, I forgot about the, well not necessarily, those old, I'll give it that, the old OBS Chevys from the late, or mainly the early 90s, late 80s, the JMT 400s, those were so, really, the 98s, I'll give it this, the 90, the 88, or whatever they went to the first generation of the square body that had no airbag, up to like 2017, those are like the best looking Chevys, in my opinion, for like heavy duty duties. Okay, never mind, all the square body, basically all Chevy duties look pretty good. You're making me put PD versus... You're really making me put PD versus Kenny. I'm sorry, I gotta go PD. I like my PDs. Kenny's are close. They're not that close. We did just witness that deer hitting me with you. Anybody want some deer jerky? I'll get the kebab ready. <laughs> Hey, 
Thanksgiving for me this year kind of was not as good as years past. I kind of didn't get to enjoy it. Just, just a minute, guys. We all live in Ohio. When you go into outer space, what we thought was state lines is wrong. Everything is just Ohio. That is a big pile of grass. Oh, come on. Not these guys again. Sorry about the drop in audio. Uh, got to get rid of the booby ads. Booby ads have made their returns. Yep, hang on. Doing it again. There we go. We might have a spam chat of the booby ads again. Again, I just want to drive my tractor and bail my head. And bail my head. Oh, now we're getting the beat. Come on. Yes, it is, Ty. The booby ads have returned. We're going to finish this little line here, and then we're going to go get some fuel. I'm not about to listen to that again. Okay, we're going to get fuel. Actually, do I have a fuel gauge on this thing? Oh yeah, I do. can vary because I have two fuel consumption mods in but uh, so far it looks like after about almost two hours worth of uh, work at full full throttle it drains the fuel <laughs> Pick up where we left off. We'll find that. Well, that was kind of a sour subject because that model technically never should have made it to Giants. Somehow it did. Logitech G27. It is a discontinued project from the Logitech lineup, but uh, you can still purchase one. Uh, you just kind of have to get lucky to find one at a decent price without someone trying to get you to pay a thousand dollars for it. John Deere 8345R and the 8430, also a front runner in that list, is a GS45 along I guess I do know Square 2448. I'm going to do more videos with you. I don't have the... Uh, my, like, dead zones in this game, I just have no force feedback. Force feedback's what's doing that.
Yay, guys, we beat the booby ads. Surprised they didn't make that much uh, bigger of a stand. 159 current viewers. Thank you all so much for showing up tonight on this wonderful Monday evening. Hopefully you all uh, currently have liked the stream. I keep coming back to that, and I know a lot of you are, but anybody that is new popping in, feel free to drop a like on the stream, and if you really want to, pop that little subscribe button and show some love. Currently on the run towards 50k by the end of the year, and uh, hopefully by the uh, start of 2023, we can reach the run 200k. Join the triple digit club. <laughs> I've had that happen before where the thing like recalibrates itself at, at random times. The fact I still have to pick up all of this does not make me happy. No, I will not be making any console ones. I'm gonna need to, uh, I'm gonna need to take that tractor. Actually, this is grass bales. I'm doing this field to make silage bales, which I believe once I actually get this portion done on this pass, I'm gonna take the tether through the rest of these rows quick, and I'm gonna turn that to hay, because right now these are all grass. I've actually never seen the request that you've sent to contact Spencer, but the problem with working with uh, somebody like at R tier is that the content creation is just a lot harder to do with an average crowd. Since uh, usually it's the microphones aren't as good, the content just doesn't really, it, it's, I mean, you can go for it. I'm not going to... Oh, no one's going to stop you. But... The odds of getting in on a video like these uh, usually is not the greatest. But when you have the, uh, the right equipment, you have some experience to back it up, and are willing to get the work done, that's when possibly getting more of a shot to work on one of these channels becomes... Uh, a more viable option in the, into the picture. It's that's a horrible description. Of that. Long story short, the average, the average personnel right now is better for something like a live stream. That's your best chance of getting in, talking to, and being around us in more of like a live personnel besides like this. And uh, I was one of them, so that's why I'm saying that. It's a lot harder to get into this stuff when you don't have, like, the mics, the experience, because it's just, it's nerve-wracking. So if I were you, I'd get the, start working a little bit up of, uh, expertise, some more levels of contact, and then when you actually reach out to one of them, uh, you're more, how we say, I'm trying to think of how I say this. It's like 7 o'clock at night and my brain's not functioning. The more professional you are, the better chance you have. How about that? Alright, time to get the other Oliver out. I thought this thing could go faster in reverse.
that's the other thing, is that sometimes the people that want to start doing channels, they don't have, uh, like, the computers to even do it. Because it'll be lagging, your internet's not... I just killed it. Nice. But uh, sometimes you don't have, like, the a, a good base for uh, internet, so it's just laggy, and that's... It's just... That's where it's just... Over time, you learn more things on how to do stuff better. 329... The 6M is actually a Giants Mod Hub mod. The only thing is that I've put on a handful of other parts to make it look more like that. Being the right side, uh, like the steps, the door parts, uh, the rear fenders, and then the flashers. Make a video about the Oldsmobile. It's currently in a car cover right now, so I can't really do anything with it. But yes, I would love to make a video about my 1990 Oldsmobile Tornado. 345. Come on, I know we can get to that 400. <laughs> yeah! I love that horn! There, here, here we go. I can do more videos on the tree series, but that's up to you guys. I would make more videos on the tree series, but I don't know if there's much of a following. The video doesn't have as many views. Like, it's doing good. But you guys are going to really have to show me that you want to see more of the uh, tree series. <laughs> I've made up my mind. <laughs> I ain't doing no console mods. Sorry, bud. Do more. Do more. Do more of what? That's very broad. Do more of, uh, not making videos? I could do that. I can do more of making videos. I could do more making mods. Heck, I could do more eating. I just wish I could do more eating and do more less fat. 170? What? Come here, deer. This is the prime example of why deer are... Uh, able to outrun Oliver's? Do more tree series. Okay. Hey, that time, uh, actually, well, well, when you, when you are a modder, it's kind of inevitable, but the nice thing is that I just somewhat learned to, uh, more or less ignore it now, so. Yeah. Bucky, <gasps> Ace, how you doing? How's your night? What vehicle do I have IRL? I have two 1990 Oldsmobile Tornados. One's a parts car, one's running and driving. And then the other one is a 2005 Honda Accord. Because I, I like my Ronda the Honda. Old School will probably be the next like actual video to come out. The other thing about this series, too, is that I plan to do some videos, like, actual videos. The hay farm will not just be live streams, but, uh, the next, like, actual video probably will be old school. Yeah, I used to get super annoyed with, uh, playing farm sim and American truck sim and the wheel would, especially American Truck Sim, I'd be like driving down the road and it basically do the Ford straight axle death wobble and I was like, okay, I gotta fix this. <laughs> eh. He's got the turning radius of a tank. Take that back. A Russian tank. JD44, I've just, I'm sorry. This is going to probably sound rude. I've just learned to ignore him. The more attention you give him, the more of a reason he has to keep spamming. Oh, I'm ignoring all of you, Andrew. Every last second. I can't stand you, man.
Why are you giving a dub to me now? All right, we'll see you all. Bye bye now. We're just gonna still be here making hay. Yes, I am from Ohio. Eight, eight R. Seven R's are cool, but I prefer the eights. But am I truly your favorite, or you just wanted to say that? I feel like there's some... I feel like there's some favoritism going on here. Ah, uh, probably. I kind of want to get this field done so I don't have to do it in the morning. Can't stop till the job's done. This field's a lot bigger than I thought it was. I am going to make some more videos with Grant. I mean, I won't be making videos like videos while he's recording, but uh, we we'll probably will. I'm just taking, and I believe, until Wednesday, uh, Tuesday off, and we'll probably get started recording again on Wednesday uh, because I was working with him all last week doing the drain tile. Doing the horn. I sound like in the morning. You know who's you know who is a fabulous YouTuber? Deserves almost all the credit in the world. Really puts his heart and soul into what he does. King May. The King Crown Community. If you guys haven't already. Go and smash that like and subscribe button for the King May community. That man is the myth, the living legend. It's you. <laughs> I'm keeping your vibe. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I can. I'm glad I can keep you. Keep your 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 child occupied. Isn't that great? Family friendly community doing small, small little farm work. Just having a fun time. One for the kid. Andrew Tate is my idol. When you drive your car. <clears throat> Piling was fun. The one thing I didn't really care for, though, was uh, I usually tend to not sleep very long. So we would go, we would try to go to bed early, and I couldn't fall asleep early any later than 10, 11 o'clock. But I would always wake up early, so I would be out walking. I'd be literally out running, getting Spencer's truck ready to go to start hauling pile reels down at like 5 at 5.30 in the morning. Like, I think the... The morning I was working uh, on Monday last week, I was out leaving with the first reel. Technically, I was getting everything ready to go and moving by 5.45, but I left the farm with the first reel at 5, uh, 6.04. And I ran tile till like, I think, 7.30. This is Griffin, Indiana. I'm up in the top left-hand corner of the map. Yes, I do know DJ Goham, and I actually just watched, like, three of the episodes on his uh, 1 through 10 season on this map. I was just... His voice was carrying the whole thing. I love, I love that dude's energy. You love the Ford sign on my wall. Are you referring to the Power Stroke one back there? And the Chevy one? Actually, no, I do have the little Ford side. I, I finally got my power button up. Favorite FS... Yeah, favorite FS game year is what I think is what that says. I honestly... It really... 
the games kind of get better as they go because I learn how to do more in them. I learn how to mod better. I learn how to play the game more. I actually kind of start to pick up and learn how you actually farm. So it really kind of just gets better as the years go on, the more I've played. King, um, King May didn't post nearly as much. For one, he was burnt out, so he just wanted to take a break. Uh, just focus more a little bit on life. He was moving, but he's going to start posting, I think, a little bit more now. If not, he's going to at least be in more recordings. Uh, just since, as I said, he was just taking a break from life, recharging, regrouping, and kind of just taking a break from the world for a little bit. So he's fine. He's uh, still making some really great content, and he still has great content. I love his farm series stuff. But yeah, if you guys haven't already, go check out King May. If you haven't already, smash the like on this stream. Like I said, we're trying to get 400 likes, man. We're, I seen a three on this screen for like the last 30 minutes. We're getting so close. At some point, yes, we will do more community live streams. There is just no set date time or whereabouts of any one of those doing it. To be surprised, I'm actually surprised that I even was able to get that kind of a stream set up and playable. So I think this will probably be more than enough hay, so we're going to put this back in the shed and grab the baler again. 359. Oh, we're getting close. We're within the last 40. Keep smashing that like button. I want to see 400 before the end of this. Like I said, we're not going to stop until we get to 400. No, we're not doing the push-ups. I'm not doing those, guys. I'm not. Stevie O is okay. He's, uh, same thing. He's actually just fully stopped pretty much doing YouTube and is just, uh, enjoying life as it is. Squad Farms is not the squad. It used to be him at the start, but then he just let other channels start to run it. Used to be, I can't remember who did it before, Tired Bogs and Farmer Nick, but then it was Stevio after them, and there's somebody before that. I don't think Grant ran. I think there's somebody between those two. No, this goes in the other shed, that's right. Watched him just like you guys did. Shoot, it's been 10 months since that channel started out of post? Jesus. All right, that's enough for the Oliver. Time to grab the baler. Save that quick. Grab our baler. We're going to grab a few more grass bales before we uh, start the pickup process. I love how I'm just destroying my lawn by doing this. Destroy your lawn. <laughs> yes, we are here to just destroy the lawn. I that's one of the things that I changed. I put the John Deere loader brackets on this thing. So I can put these six the deer loaders on. You know, I would do that. I would ignore you all. But the problem is, I can't. It's kind of my job to interact with you guys. You 
really, you're really on your way to a timeout over there, Knox. I had to modify the tractor to get the JD brackets on there. It has the John Deere loader brackets on it. I've changed this tractor. I had to add the fenders, I had to add the door parts, I had to add the muffler back, all of the turn signals and lights. <laughs> Poor <goat. laughs> I'm glad, Melissa. Very glad. I like to help those. This is a safe place for people. Anybody who says anything about push-ups will be timed out. I'm not afraid to time you out, alright? It's late at night, I want to go to bed, and I'm not done. Made them, found them, looked for them, used them. Yes, Patrick, I would time you out. Let's just push the bail out of the way here. No, don't. Not what I meant. Don't be dumb. There we go. Hey, Dirk. While you're at it, I need you to time out anybody that is telling me to do push-ups. I have told them time and time and time and time again. I'm not doing them. And I've also now made the statement that anybody who does it will be timed out. So anybody you see that has said do time do that and gets timed out. Well maybe I don't want to recognize you, Ghosty. What if I don't want to recognize you, huh? 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 You ever think about that? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Show him. You got him with the jumping jacks. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's Dirk. Get him. Get him, Dirk. Get him. Oh, oh, we got another one. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Get him. Get him, Dirk. Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Get him. Oh, we we filled. <laughs> oh, 
Emily, I've already answered that. I either find them, make them, look for them, use them, do whatever. Google's your friend, and if you can't find them there, then odds are they're probably private. Facebook. How about you sit? You know, all you guys are going to do, you're going to make me that I'm just going to turn off chat completely. I'm not going to do any sort of workout to end the stream. I'm not doing it. You're, you are, you're putting in some time. You get a, you get an instant cookie. <laughs> don't, don't delete the sit-ups one. Don't delete the sit-ups one. <laughs> He said I'm so funny. <laughs> that one was funny. Yes, thank you, Ty. What Ty said. Dirk, if you can, pin that comment. Enjoy the stream. We've already had to fight booby ads. I don't want to fight the workout plan. Oh, Dirk, you missed it. The booby ad showed up twice again. I can do that. Yes, exactly. At this rate, I'm going to have to pay Dirk to time you guys out. That's not going to happen. Baby. I, I bet you would, Dirk. I really bet you would. Yes, I will do that. To end the stream, we're going to do a burnout in the charger. Yes, you can. I don't know. Everybody has slow mo in it. That's to help prevent spam chat. <laughs> SE. <laughs> Dirk reacted like, wait a minute. Dirk, you have to time yourself out now. You bonehead! <laughs> oh. oh no! Actually, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to do it. Sorry, Dirk. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You didn't follow the rules. <laughs> hey, I, hey, I, man. Man, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him back his stuff. He did it. He did it to himself. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Dirk will be back shortly. <laughs> Dirk will be back in a few minutes. I think like five minutes. 
Everybody free dirt. <laughs> I I basically free dirt myself. <laughs> dirt can still do it to you, bonehead. <laughs> Dirk is Dirk if you're alive please comment if you can But then you see I can't monetize it if I do that. I only choose to not monetize my videos when I want to. <laughs> when Dirk becomes this <laughs> It's Dirk my Dirk you are the new K-Bot for the Rental Man chain. Clutch has K-Bot, I have Dirk. <laughs> Poor Dirk. For every like in this channel, for every like on this stream, we have a we have a vote to free dirt. <laughs> Trust me, you have not seen my Ohio side. You're only seeing the Chicago side. <laughs> We're starting a movement. <laughs> Dirk, the second you get out of timeout, I'm gonna need you to freaking just tap, tap scream at me for that. But you did it to yourself. <laughs> How Dirk's just become like a central figure of this channel for like the last five minutes. Heck, if you really get into it, there's a good chance this might be a four hour stream. Well, I'm just laughing at the fact that we all just now are like all in favor of freeing Dirk. Dirk's an innocent man. Let him go. He poisoned himself, though, so that's why. No, you don't get a cookie. You get a brownie. Alright, well, we're gonna hopefully... We'll hopefully be done before 10 o'clock. I hope I'm done before then. I still gotta download a bunch of files from uh, Spencer. Gonna hopefully be in a video with him here soon. Oops, we're all chat. This is gonna suck to pick all these up. We got 61 bales on the counter. Minus like 12, so we've got like 50 whales to get that. You got suck. No, Dirk's not timed out. done with the grass portion of this. Yay! Yeah, Dirk's back! <laughs> That's why I didn't go to it after I got out of school.
free dirt. <laughs> the free dirt movement. Dirt, with your permission, there's a very good chance I might put that in some bags of videos now. Wait a minute. Dirk is an innocent, awesome, honest man. The boy. But I'm at 100%, what the heck? There we go. Uh-oh. Dirk's back at it again. Buck was a sad person in 2019. Bucket your idol? Yes. You might want to look for a different idol uh, options. I did. I did just roast myself. Okay, off to hay bales. Oh wait, I forgot. I have easy death. Ha! Sucker. Wait, no! Wait, I think I might be able to save this. We're going to go make havens. Tundra. Better yet, the Toyota pickup. Thanks, Ace, for stopping by. I hope you have a good night. 35. This 35 should be a duty, so I'm a sucker for duties. Oh, yeah. Hold on. So there's 9,000 liters for hay bales, but 7,500 for grass. That makes no sense. Yes, what what the legend, the man, the other the other man myth and legends has said. Dirk has spoken. You know, kind of cool is if you made a hay bale. But you mix like a third of it with wet grass and then the rest of it with dry hay and it can actually spontaneously combust. That's that's the same truck though.
Almost to the 400, guys. Let's go. Eight more people. Come on. I got an idea. Start playing Roblox. Nurk's not just a god, he's a demigod. And he knows it's a lot to handle the hair of the bar when you're staring at a demigod. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> but, but I want my Robux. I want my Robux. I need to play Bloxburg. over the veil. But, but I want to bake. <laughs> I am, uh, I am the monk. This is my wig. I am what happens when you mix the rock with Kevin Hart. I still don't see it on my end. I see 300 something. There it is. We got the 400. Thank you all so much. Now I want more. Let's go 450. <laughs> Yay. You guys are spectacular. We've really done a hard work today. I sat on my keister and played a video game and watched 400 people like this. <laughs> Social media is so screwed up. just got an ad. What? Oh, that's right. I forgot I turned on the advertisements. You left for a little bit? Well, welcome back. We're still bailing, but now we're doing hay instead of grass. The, fact, the sad fact that I have to wrap like 45 of these bales is not making me very happy. <laughs> I need to go get some water though. That is a fact. We're actually gonna do that. We're gonna go get some water quick. We'll be right back.
Yay, we're back now. I got water. And a piece of cheese. I'm just gonna set him right here. We have cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mentally sick. <laughs> Someone help me, please. Actually, no, I was gonna eat this cheese. This is this is the uh, a toast to Jerry. Yes, I love that song. Long highway, going all along. No long daddy till you get back home. No long family, no long through. No long mother, I can't ask me to do. No long 18 wheeler, no long. I am going to snap that photo, and that is going to be a wallpaper. If you want to be a part of the Bucky Cheese, yes. That made my night right there. Bucky Cheese, the legend. Can we get a hit single like that? I'll just sing uh, 18, I'll just sing Roll On by Alabama, and it'll just be uh, by Bucky Cheese. I swear, if this actually gets copyrighted because I sang like 45, like a good solid 30 seconds of that song, I'm going to be angry. You gotta stay hydrated, folks. Oh, that was good. That, that made my night. That's how you really feel. Hey, if you really want me to get you a song stuck in your head, I can go over here and start singing Baby Shark. The bail definitely disagreed with me on that one. Times are real. Dusty fields, no matter where you go. You may change your mind, but the weeds are high where corn don't go. That's it, that's all the cheese I had. I only had one piece of cheese. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a jelly bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, tummy, funny, lucky gummy bear. Who sings that? Multitude of different people. Uh, the one that I like the most uh, is by, I think, Whaley Jennings did the original one. But I think Travis, I can't remember what his name was. Uh, Travis something, he did a variant of it, and I like that one too. Cheese. Excuse me, cheese is attacking me. Something about the F series, anyway. Yes. Never mind, that's what it was. I did not even think of that because of the fact I instantly thought of Barnyard and Biggie Cheese. So the fact that I. <laughs> yes.
Hey Dirk, while you're at it, if you really wanted to, I'm gonna let you go full ham. Anybody that does full caps in there, actually this time I'm out. We're gonna set these kids straight. <laughs> Ain't I just the worst? Okay, Dirk, retract that order. No, if people if people use a capital letter, you do not have to type them out. Oh, I thought I had that one. Do not tell I think Dirk is literally besides like Jake FS Club and all those guys. I think Dirk's my only moderator. <laughs> so Dirk truly is a special human being. I don't even remember when he got moderator from me. B uh, BB Productions, did you happen to uh, use caps? That's it for bales. We're done bailing. Of course, we left some small spots, but that'll be great over time. You know what? While you're at it, why not? Why not? You, 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 you've been, you've been a good noodle. We'll park this up here quick and then we're going to get the, uh, the Baylor's transportation out. Now with that, now with that upgrade to your Position there, Buckeye, comes great responsibility. Remember, Chad, I can take that away just as fast. Yes, Buckeye did uh, achieve the rank of moderator. One piece at a time, Johnny Cash. Actually, I think I'm going to do all hands on deck for this one, so... Uh, let's actually get the Oliver hooked up to that. I kind of want to... I think the Oliver has a better chance of not getting stuck. Where is the Oliver? <laughs> oh, it's over here. You did. You did. But I've actually done a lot more and talked more and worked more with Chad than I have you, so... That is why he gets the moderator. Ugh. Well, to be fair, the wrench club is pretty, uh, it is pretty limited. Maybe someday you guys can join the ranch club. We'll see who's really dedicated. This one you can look up and find. This is a public bond. Alright, let's get to wrapping some bales now, shall we? 
We're gonna make a conga line of these things. Oh, dude, this would make a beautiful picture. Once I load this thing up, I think I'm only able to put like a bale every spacing. Like, I think this can only hold. Yeah. You know, I don't think I really want to waste all the gas in that, so... Ooh, that's another really good song. 9 to 5. Working 9 to 5. It's hard to make a living. Barely getting my most taken and no giving. It's a rich man's game, no matter what they call it. Yes, Buck does remember Mr. Brunostic. He still uses the name to this day. Alright, we'll set this here. Whoa, we had some slip going on there. A little bit of power. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Gave the man the boot as he was heading out the door. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was funny. I'm sorry, that was funny. <laughs> Gave the man the boot on his way out. Don't, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh, that was good. That was brutal. <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let you have it for tonight. How about that? Actually, and you too, bud. Hang on, hang on. We, we, we got some very good, we got some, we have some dedicated people tonight that we're going to be honoring today. Congratulations and welcome to the Blue Ranch Club, High Farms, and Ghosty, as well as Buckeye State Farms. You guys get the Golden Star tonight. No, you, you, but remember now, you actually have a job to do. You have to moderate. Just because you're in the Blue Ranch Club does not mean you get to do nothing. All right, well, thank you, bud. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you have a great night. Uh, we got one more thing to grab. Oh, that's right, we gotta grab the Chevy. No, the Wrench Club so far has been uh, reserved for the greatest of the great, but you also have to do some work to get there. Yes, I can always take away that wrench. Dirk is a living example that uh, you got to do the job right to keep that wrench. Now, does, now, Chad, on the other hand, he's kind of special. He gets to keep the wrench, not necessarily by default, but he should have had it beforehand. Man's a legend. You actually did earn your wrench tonight, Ty. You're doing pretty, you're doing a great job. What did the fish say when he ran into the wall? I don't know. Gobble, gobble, gobble. All right. Let's get our forks out and we're ready to go. Let's start wrapping some bales. I think that is a hay bale, if I'm correct. Nope, that's a grass bale. Nice. I'm glad you feel so part of the... I'm glad you feel... Welcome to the channel. Oh, that's right, I kind of got to turn this thing on.
Ah, oh, that's right, I gotta manually unload this thing every time. This is gonna take a minute. Oh, this could take a minute. I forgot I have to manually unload that thing. Alright, time to start getting grass bales. Here we go. Hey, look at that! Welcome to the Uncle Buck supporters, Devin Plays. Thank you for the first Tier 1 membership to the Rental Man channel. I'd like to welcome our... Uh, yes, welcome. You've been sub since 2020? Well, congratulations. Thank you, sir, for being a dedicated fan to the Rental Man clan. Ooh, ooh. Hang on a minute. I think I got a bail spike sitting around here somewhere. Put that on the back as a counterweight. Devin! You want a blue wrench? Well, it's sadly earned. If you want a blue wrench, you gotta earn it. The guys that have it tonight have earned it. There it is. Like, I knew I had a... I knew I had a bail spike. Here, here, here we go. Yes. No politics. It. There it goes. That's what I was looking for. Hang on, we're gonna figure this out. Wait a minute, Rocky. That is because. Uh that is because my one of my favorite channels that I still watch to this day is Jacksepticeye. It is how he has started his videos for I don't even know how long, and uh, he just yeah he is one of my top favorite people to watch for content and just his personality. This just makes the tires in the front want to explode. It's not that political opinions are bad, it's just that we're here to watch some fun. We're just here to have enjoy, enjoy life, have some fun. And yeah. No need to bring politics into something that has nothing to do with politics. Keep in mind, guys, we have like 30 bales to do on this. It's just gonna be a long one. Hey now, we got ourselves. Ooh, Roland Farms. Thank you for joining. Hang on a minute. Let's see here. We had another member join. Give me just a second. I want to see in the chat where this happened. No? Or was that the same one? I think he... Either way, Roland Farms, thank you for joining the... Rental Man channel. I did. I'm not sure when you did or how you did, but uh, I'm I'm sorry. I could I completely missed that. 
Oh, not that one. I don't want that. Oh, gotta do this again. There we go. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> You're still welcome to the channel. The stream is fire? Well, I'm glad. We're finally actually getting something done on this map. Luck needs to be present. I wouldn't want to try even to remotely handle three quarters of the problems in this country. No thank you. The best person that's qualified for the job wouldn't take it if you gave it to Alright, Rockies, thanks for stopping by. Have a great night. I need a heck of a marketing community to get me to even remotely have a chance in the budgeting aspect of that. trying to haul these things two by two. What sucks is that I'm going to have to do all of these grass bales first before I can even start loading bales. That is totally logical. Oh, this poor tractor. How that is even holding on, I don't even know. 18 wheel. <laughs> poor Brent. So far, I'd actually have to say, no, I haven't gotten to really look at it. The Nebraska, uh, this, I can't remember what the name of it is, by DJ, uh, the guy who did UMRV in 19 and 17, but I knew it was DR, but he changed his name to DJ. But I was going to check out the Nebraska map to see how well that one is, but Griffin, Indiana, so far, this map is absolutely beautiful. I love this map. The only thing I do is I wish it was kind of bigger, but it's understandable. Oh, you can load up more. No way. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? I did not know. That could spec this up by like five years. I start a vlog channel, it's named Bucky Cheese. <laughs> I like how that bail moves. I noticed now, I did not know that until like five seconds ago, so we're gonna make this like actually happen by tonight instead of next Thursday. Actually, no, because I have to load the bales up. Shoot. I can't do that. I kind of have to unload these one by one because I remember I have to load these up onto the bale trailer and as nice as a big bale snake, a nice bale snake would be, I can't really do that. You're done typing for the night? Oh! <laughs> Ooh, she tipping, boys! I don't necessarily know. All I know is that this 
The Bale Farm usually is doing very good on the live streams. That's also because it's like the only farm I've done live streams on, like consistently, being twice, because there's only one video to two live streams. Come on. Hit the bail. There we go. <laughs> All right, Jacob, thanks for stopping by. I didn't know this was actually going to go this long, but I kind of got to... I kind of have to finish this before I go to bed because I don't want to do this in the morning. There we go. I gotta get my rear weight back. I'm actually more of a cat guy. Hate me if uh, hate me as you will. I grew up with um, a cat that we had since he was a kitten, and he was my best friend. You need to realize the more you ask, the less likely I am to actually act on it. Alright, Ty, thanks, bud. Oh, wait, never mind. I think you gotta go. I don't want to do this again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. It's taking it. No. No. It's taking my bail. My beautiful bail. Eh. Fine. Take my bail. See if I care. Oh, that that's going to be a broken bail. That is going to be a broken nail. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I just have them turn on this. This makes a better movie. Heck, this is a comedy act, a drama, a romantic, and even, um, a, um, uh, I can't even think of another genre, but yeah. <laughs> We're about to lose the bail for the 13th time. <laughs> we'll see you, Trevor. Have a good night. Clutch is being live at 8.30 p.m. Wait a minute. I would leave my stream to go watch Clutch. Clutch is amazing at streams. We have Andrew Tate in the chat. Well, would you look at that? It looks like we do. Alright, I want to load some hay, so what we're going to do, we're going to drop this one behind me. We're going to go load some hay. Actually, that bale is heavier. So we need this. But do you really... Do you have all of my mods installed, but I'd like to challenge that statement.
Oh, she's slipping. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that they got land all. It's just slightly not in, but already known. American Farming has acquired the assets of land all equipment. Buck does not have. Buck does not have a Discord. Yes, the Oliver sounds amazing. I'm probably wasting like 16 gallons of diesel doing that, but I don't care. That is not sitting on the stream. <laughs> That's better. I honestly don't really know what, like, good budget PCs are. All I know is that, uh, the, just the Apex gaming PCs themselves, those are usually a pretty good buy if you're looking for something that's Maybe a little bit more expensive, but it's basically designed to run prime sale. I'm just, I just lift 1,500 pound bales for a daily, uh, on the daily. I just do it. I'm super strong like that. I honestly don't really, uh, the 1586. That's a solid tracker. <clears throat> I actually, uh, true story. I bought a Xbox One Halo 5 edition from one of my uh, underclassmates for 20 bucks. All I had to do was get the Wi-Fi, uh, the Wi-Fi chip inside of it replaced. And the cut and the guys that did it were uh, a really nice game spot. Like a, they weren't, they were not a GameStop. They were called Game Room, and they, um, they. When I got when I went in to get it done, they said it'd take about two to three days before I could get it because I brought it in on like a Friday or something. And they forgot to call me when it was done. And when they called them back, they just told me to come in and get it, and I didn't have to pay them for it. <laughs> so I had a brand I basically had a brand new working Xbox. Oh, the booby ads made their return. Go get them, Dirk. Get them. AI 84% will find a girl for you. Well, what if you're a girl in this chat? What if you want to find a guy? These booby ads are one-sided. This is not fair. All right, Lincoln. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. going to be about two hours, but it's looking like this is going to be about more like four, if not four and a half. I just kind of want to get all of these bales stacked up and done.
Well, we're almost getting all those panels done. I say time is just flying. I didn't even really realize we were three and a half hours in. Can we get 500 likes now? Let's see if we can get 500 likes on the strip. We still are holding 130 spheres still. You guys are doing awesome. Yes, it does have ears. likely the silage bales. I have a lot of tongue weight on this thing. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, good. I was getting worried. You're gone? All right, Andrew. We'll see you later. You have been spared. Am I going to do another homeowners? I'm going to let that one take a little bit of a break since that was the second most recent video that I've done. tell which one's grass and which ones are hay. Of course, one of them's just darker than the other, but still, it's kind of hard to tell. I think there's some more hay bales down over here. Unless these are all grass. Yeah, these are all grass. It's gonna suck. I thought I had a lot more hay bales than that. Huh? out truck mod. It's pretty simple. All I gotta do is throw a Chevy badge in front of it and you already got the you already got the gist of it. I'm gonna load uh, one of these snake snakes on it. Yeah 
I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to do the uh, picking up of that. That is totally not gonna hold. Oh, hold on. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. We are currently beginning to load some silage here without tipping my front tractor. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, keep it on the ground. Keep it on the ground. to get out. Yes, everyone calm down. You see, I could do that, but I don't like to cheat doing the work, so we are going to do the work. And we're going to do it live so you guys know I did the work. Doesn't like that. I thought Andrew said he was leaving. <laughs> Hello, Christina. How are you tonight? He was warned. He was warned. He truly was. Get him, Colt. Get him. Yes. Get him, Colt. Get him. I don't really know how to farm in real life, so I'm probably not the greatest person to ask how do you farm in this game. In this game, it's pretty simple. You back up to a planter, you plant crops, you harvest it with a combine, you dig it up with a cultivator and disc it with it and all that and do it again. And this, you cut grass, you mow grass, you mow grass, you bale grass, you feed grass. Oh, come on. It's not that painful to do this. Push it. Push, push it real good. There we go. Now it's starting to look a little bit more organized. Um, I don't really know what I would change about the game since I've kind of just played it. I'd have to kind of get back into thinking of the game mechanics. Uncle Buck, now we're talking turkey. I know this Chevy absolutely hates bales and the 350 in it. it <laughs> it's going to be screaming to get out of this field. Good evening. I did not make console mods, nor would I know how to make that a console mod. That 
it's like uh, Deca, Deca, Deca or something. It's a Giants mod on that. And I think it's a European map, but it's like less detailed enough with slightly more American buildings to classify it as looking American. Give it a little bit of encouragement, and the Chevy's ready to go. Now time to load up the Dodge. Well, I'm actually gonna kind of do something a little bit different. Pull that, rotate this. this back, because I'm doing this the logical way, and you back here, to fall maybe a little there, a little bit more in, there we go, and then we're going to take these, Problemo solved. There we go. 63,000 liters of hay. What a deal. Now the last one was basically two hours on the dime, but I also was technically somewhat sick when I was doing that one, so there was reasons to get off on that. I see myself maybe going towards 9 o'clock, maybe 9.30 on this. I thought I might be done by 10, but I highly doubt it. It truly is. We'll see you later, bud. Thanks for stopping by. That bale's just like hanging on for dear life. I have actually seen that. That's pretty cool. Get that bail back on here. I want my bail to stay on. Yes, I definitely would bail hay in real life if I could. I would love to do this. Of course, that's just because, you know, I'm doing it as a video game and not doing any of the actual labor, but. I have hauled bales and worked with bales IRL, so it's it's kind of one of the, I want to be a farmer, but you could technically do it as a hobby if you really wanted to, because you could run an acreage. Yes. It's not actually like difficult, difficult to build a mod for console, but it's the regulations that you have to follow is why it's difficult. Making a mod for Tarm Sim is not hard. It's getting it through giants is the problem.
Oh, hello. That's going to be an expensive mistake. You wouldn't be the only one that thinks that. Oh, lost the bail. And eh, didn't really do much for me anyway. No, I'm not about to pick that one up. Too much turning around. It's a mod hub mod. If you use this thing called Google, you can be your friend, and you'll be fine. Should be a giant spot of mod, last I checked. I thought the forks weren't that long, but apparently I'm wrong. video of, uh, <laughs> the video of, uh, things that Google had, like, if Google, if Google was a person, <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> if Google was a person, one of the great videos. That and P and Peel's, uh, the football one, the, the, the ball game. <laughs> no, I did not edit this shed. The shed is the one directly from Mod Hub. It's the 6M that's edited, but it originally is a Mod Hub tractor. <laughs> my mother just asked me how my live stream went. Little does she know, I'm actually still doing it. I still got a lot of work to do. I don't think I've ever run a tractor out of out of diesel as much as this one. The Oliver's a close second though. <laughs> she just realized it. <laughs> Get her, Dirk. Get my mother. Get her. <laughs> Poor mother. Yes, mother, I am still on doing this. <laughs> My mother is breaking the rules. <laughs> Yay! Mama Bob! For anyone wondering, that, that lady right there, Tracy, that's my mama. That's, that's my mama. She, she's the number one fan. No one here could be number one fan. She number one fan.
gonna start grabbing all these ones down here, so I feel like I'm actually doing something. <laughs> smart man, Dirk, smart man. Are you proud of him? <laughs> No, she's not proud of me. Oh, well, Mama, get, Mama Buck gets all the news before any of you guys get it. Oh, my parents will be very well taken care of if I can do it. Yeah, she's, uh, usually she's in bed by this time, so the fact that, uh, she's still up is beyond me. Wait a minute. Yes, that is a mod hub mod. Oh no, she's not a moderator. She gets to call me her son, so that already is enough. Alright Andrew, thanks bud. Glad you could stick around, I didn't know it was actually going to go this long. Shoot, this bail wrapper is going to go into my backyard at this point. further forward than that. Wait, clutch is live? Oh no! Don't leave me for clutch! Please don't! I beg of you! I have to check him out too. I don't necessarily know, I just know that the bailing, I wanted to do this one because I had a lot of grass to cut, so this is mainly going to be probably the live stream save. I'm still going to do regular videos on this, but uh, in terms of live streams, I don't necessarily know. Those are always kind of up for grabs. We might. We very well probably could. I don't even think I can do that. Wait a second. We didn't even unload the bail. <laughs> you big dummy. So we have left to do. Oh! I thought it was just this corner and I looked left. Why did I have to look left? If I didn't tip forward, I would definitely do that. I got an idea. When this stream is done, everybody go to clutch. Easy.
noted. Don't look left. <laughs> Noted, don't look left. Yes, Dirk! Dirk coming in clutch. No pun intended. Yes, Clutch is now streaming live on Hulu Plus and Amazon Prime. <laughs> Oh, he's on Silver Run right now? Actually, I got an idea. Hang on a second. Where's he at? Now you guys can watch Clutch while I do this. <laughs> you're, watch, you're watching Clutch. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. We're now watching Clutch. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. My arm's getting tired. Oh, the Chevy sign's right there. I just moved it. Two streams at once. Yo, imagine watching a stream while watching a stream while playing a game and watching that stream. That'd be a good day. Dude, I could actually do that. I could watch my stream while watching my stream and then watch clutch a stream while watching my stream that's watching my stream. I'm making my own brain hurt. <laughs> Everybody that's popping out for the night, thanks for all stopping by. I still got plenty of work ahead of me that I gotta do before I go to bed. Spencer's gonna kill me because I'm supposed to download 23 gigabytes worth of mods tonight. I don't think it's gonna happen. to get me an auto bail loading trailer. <laughs> Technically that bail trailer is supposed to load them. But I told myself I'm gonna do all the work. I should just make the bail snake, but I don't wanna leave them out in the field, so I'm gonna have to cut this field again. Actually I already have an external hard drive. Don't look left, don't look left. Dang it, there's one left! There's one left on the left. Quit looking left, you dummy. Yeah, but see, the problem is I can only load these things into that one at a time. If I was loading these things onto the trailers right away, this would not be a problem, but I need to have my silage tails. Because once I stock these up, I don't have to keep them. No, no, that's the DJ Goham one. Picking out the million dollar loan and then building a farm with a with a nine RX as your first tractor in an acre in like a quarter of an acre yard, and then placing down your sheds that don't even fit any of your equipment. You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna load some of these, get some of these out of the way.
actually, I have an idea. It's not going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. Counterweight. That is a horrible spiking of that. There we go. Now we got a small counterweight. <laughs> oh. Oh, she does not like that. Not in the slightest. There, I think we have a bit of a problem. <laughs> Get him to the trailer! Oh! Can we get him up? Oh, we might be able to get it up at least. Oh, I had it on two wheels there for a second. Hang on a minute. We're gonna get this. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just gonna drop it. Oh, not, nope. Not completely drop it. Now we're wasting time. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go back to what we were doing. One bail at a time. I like that. This worked. <laughs> Careful, punch mode. <laughs> Careful, punch mode. Patrick, it's already on the wall. Oh, yeah. No, Patrick, the can's already open. Oh, yeah. Now my turn. <laughs> I know! Who can you pay bubbles? You know, we're just gonna put the marshmallow on top. <laughs> That's... <laughs> this is the mar marshmallow mobile. <laughs> See, if you had a cotton field, you have the cotton... You have the square marshmallows. And when you do silage bales, you have the regular marshmallows. <laughs> These are the big s'mores. That's the regular mellow. <laughs> well, hello there, Mason. How you doing, buddy? Anybody hasn't already? Go check out Gertis Farms. That is, uh, that is the fellow colleague of mine that we ended up doing the dealership video with a few weeks ago. Got some IRL farming content. If you guys like to watch IRL farming, he's got a channel up there he's trying to work on building. All right, Alex, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in the morning. I did not know this was going to go this late. And, uh, yeah. Well, understandable. Have a nice day. This Dodge is going to hate me in the morning. Curtis, by the way, you missed out on all the booby ads. My moderator, Dirk's been taking charge and taking care of that for us here tonight. <laughs> Get him, Dirk. Although it was a Spongebob comment, so I'm kind of mad that you deleted that one. I like how Dirk is not necessarily trapped to, like, staying and watching the whole stream, but he technically just does. 
Like, he has no real obligation to actually stay in the during the whole stream, but he still does. What a legend. Dirk for president. Free Dirk. SpongeBob or not, it was true. Man's got a point. Man was just doing his job. That's what I don't pay him to do. Yeah, rules that I wrote that I can override at any time. Trailer's sliding all over the place. Ninety nine percent fees a lot, but he doesn't pay us. Exactly. You're here for the fun of it. Patrick, you're fired. I don't even work here. Would you like the job? Starting now. Boy, would I. You fired me. <laughs> and I should have done. Colleagues are my Avengers. These guys are my, uh, my, the Grove Street crew. And Buckeye definitely takes the role of Big Smoke. Because I know that fool's gonna order two number nines, a number nine large, number six with extra dip, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. Giant servers are down, giant servers are not wanting to act nice. The multiplayer in this game is not on the greatest of, uh, greatest of things. Just not the whole. <laughs> Sadly. Jake seems more like a Loki. Hey, don't you be there making fun of Lloyd from Ninjago now. I still was rooting for Kai all those years ago, even though he was an arrogant able. I am the definition of Tony Stark. <laughs> no, better yet, the Thanos truck. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! No no! Oh, no. What happened? I, I don't know what happened. 
All of a sudden, it just started falling apart. What happened? Now I gotta fix this. Adapt, achieve, overcome. Something happened. I can tell you one thing's for certain. We are not unloading these on the stream, though. These are gonna be parked in the shed and calling it good. This was doing so well. Bucky e. Cheese has failed. Maybe I should have went with the auto loader. <laughs> no. I played Fortnite for 20 minutes on my phone when it came out on mobile and I hated it. Plus, I suck at combat games. Besides World of Tanks. World of Tanks, and actually, no, not even War Thunder. I suck at War Thunder, too. <laughs> okay, there we go. Fix that. Where'd my mellow go? There he is. That's a marshmallow. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna... Yes, I would play farming. I would play Roblox. I don't mind Roblox. I don't know what's going on with this trailer. It does not like to... Uh, kind of run over the Chevy here. Oh, Chevy got stuck. <laughs> oh, I don't know if the Chevy's gonna be able to get out of here. <laughs> well, we are not having this stuff fall off again. Push it that way. Push it that way. Push it that way. Pushing it this way. There we go. Because for some reason that trailer's like scooting over we're doing that. Good night everybody. I'm sorry I'm trying to fix this thing being stupid. wants me to play with him, but I can't. I'm too busy messing up stacking bales. Whoa! Hello! Oh, well, hello. Welcome back to this entirely messed up game where I thought I was going to be able to do bales for fun, but now it's just taking forever. <laughs> I've been doing nothing but bailing and doing bale work for the last five hours, like four hours. You're going to go buy some merch. Amazing. 
Can we still get four? Like, what, what are we at for life counts? I think we can hit 500 by, by this point. We've been live for almost four. We've been joined for just over four, four hours now. I think we can get to 500. Let's get this. I'm just gonna, it's gonna yoink that. Yay! Let's actually see if I can get the Chevy unstuck here. Can we get the Chevy unstuck? That is the myth of the night. Oh, yes, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, it killed. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not even strapped that she doesn't want to move. I knew the 350 wasn't going to like this. There she goes. Come on, baby. Dude, look at that suspension. Look at the lift. <laughs> oh, come on, 350. You can do it. Uh, I need to get the 454. Oh, she's... Oh, she's rolling. Oh, she's killing. <laughs> this little 350 just wants to die. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, Chevy. Ooh, get it on the get it on the gravel. Oh, she don't have enough pull. We can only do first gear. <laughs> oh, oh, this poor truck. Oh, this poor truck. We're gonna leave that right there. <laughs> I did drop the clutch. The problem is it spins and gets stuck if I do it. Okay. I don't even wonder how the Dodge is gonna do because that's like six times the weight. I put the mellow back. The mellow stays here. Good mellow. I think it's still sliding. No, it's staying there now. Okay, time to go get more bales. Well, that's the problem. Is even when we were strapped, the thing doesn't want to move. Well, that's... Yeah, true. I did just wreck my yard again, didn't I? Oh, there's so many bales! I think the Chevy... T I need to take the Chevy to the tranny shop after this. Give it a 454 in that thing. It should be able to tow it a little better. What do you think? Should we upgrade that truck to have a 454 in it? Because I think I'm going to need it. I think after this, I'm going to need to change the axle ratios to 410 gearing with a 454. Probably a four-speed... Uh, Four, uh, and a, technically a four-speed manual, but it's got the one gear that's low. Basically a three-speed with a low. JTR, we're doing just fine. We are currently making a Chevy want to die at the moment. We're going to make the Dodge want to kill itself here in a few seconds, too. Actually, what's the what's the fuel level at for the Oliver? It's been running. Well, that's about half tank. That's not bad. New record.
Oh, trust me, dude. I'm running on straight adrenaline. I'm going to go to bed and I'm just going to crash. This wouldn't be the first time I've talked for five hours straight. Hydration. <laughs> that Dodge is a torque monster, though. That thing should do just fine. I need to get a counterweight for the back, because I thought putting a bale on it would work, but the bale just wasn't going to do it. I do not have a dog. You gotta take your bath. Okay. Have a good night, bud. Thanks for stopping by. Congratulations on moderator. Like... Well, actually, mine for the first time has excellent connection this whole time. So, uh... It's good on my end. It's on your end on that side. Hang on. Is that another hay bale? No, it's a grass bale. Ooh. No, but I can actually take two at a time. Intelligent. This is gonna speed things up nicely. That is not straight in the slightest, but we're gonna say it is. Well, I'm sorry, Beast, but the, currently the Chevy right now is having a heart attack over there. And will be down and out for the count if I don't put a bigger engine in it. The 350 just isn't going to cut. Uh-oh, get him, Dirk, get him! Yeah! Get him! I just like watching dirt go after the chat. It's funny. Hey, achievement unlocked. That's a wrap. I've wrapped enough bales now to become a successful bale wrapper. Dude, imagine Eminem facing off against the farming simulator bales. That'd be a great wrap battle. Oh, come on. Very true. I could grab four bales, but the problem is I'd have to grab one, 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 two, one, one, two, two. necessarily say one's better than the other. 19's obviously a lot more like sophisticated because it's had four years, five years now to holy cow, I realize that technically a farm sim stays on a three year path. This game hasn't even made half its lifespan yet, but otherwise it technically already be halfway through its life. There we go. We're gonna need to go fill this thing up with fuel again! Yes, these are some very skinny bales. Hello! <laughs> Bike wheel! <gasps> oh, hello. I do actually need to scoot this thing forward again. Oh! <laughs> it yeeted! No! What's going on? Eh. 
No! Stop! Stop! You are... Eh. This is just falling apart by the minute, isn't it? Bill Rapper has basically just left the chat. He's just like, I'm done with this. Leave me alone. I want to just be in peace. Technically, though, I'm using this thing wrong. You're going to subscribe. Well, thank you, sir. And why not, while you're at it, everybody that is in the chat that has not already done it, please consider liking the stream. We're going to see if we can get to 500 likes before the end of this. Because I probably still got a solid 20 minutes left to doing this. Hey, we're not doing so bad if we look left anymore. This thing definitely is putting its hours in. I just like how the three and a half hours on this tracker is actually probably quite a bit from this stream. drive on my yard. We'll see you, True. Have a good night. Actually gonna set these back up. Kind of looks bad. Ah, ah, ah. Eh. There we go. Dude, this kind of looks like a mess. Let's clean up our mess a little bit. Doesn't matter. I'm probably just gonna pick them up and load them by hand anyway when I'm done. No, I have not seen a come and swap F-150. Holy cow, I think we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 12 or 13 bales left. And we are gonna do it. We're gonna take three. Yeah, the M6 is getting kind of dirty, isn't she? You dirty tractor. Oh, she does not like that. Well, thank you, Mike, uh, for continuing to support and watch this stream. All I know is this tractor is not going to take the corner very well. We'll see ya. The fact that we're still holding over a hundred viewers is absolutely astonishing. You guys are doing fantastic. While I'm over here throwing the tractor around like it's a freaking break dancer. I do not farm IRL, actually. I, um, uh... I hardly even know how to farm, to be honest. I've just been doing this for quite a while, and I'm getting sick and tired of waiting, so... Yeah. I 
I wish I kind of find IRL. That'd be fun. This thing give up on me? I think it gave up on me. Oh, yes it did. Dang it. Now I got another snake. Yeah, at least it makes it easier to load. Bro, I wouldn't listen to your teachings if my life depended on it. <laughs> Sorry, Mason. <laughs> I do not have a dog. Oh, I'm kind of sad you can't see it. I got all my die casts in a case over there. Like a bookcase. Well, my new one. I have played Hunter Call of the Wild before. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bales. We can do it. I'm gonna try and haul four. We're gonna we're gonna do it. It's gonna happen. No, I would rather listen to you than listen to Jack. Absolutely not. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Jack would drive me nuts. He already does. And he knows it too. Uh, no. I, uh, I've been trying to find my life for the last couple of years. Alright. How this is going to work, I don't know. But we're going to make it. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. Make it work. No? Okay, fine. Have it your way. We're going to take two then. Nope, I've actually never been hunting in my life. Glad you can stay up. Oh, not that crud. Ugh. Gonna have to go get a fuel up. We are working this tractor hard. You know what? I'm just gonna start loading these over here, but I'm actually just gonna drop them. I'm not actually gonna load them yet. We'll load them all by hand once we get back. I'm getting so sick and tired of waiting on this. <laughs> I just want to get these last bales in. We're going to haul the bales in, then we'll go get a diesel. Kind of pointless to get diesel in it now. Wait, what the heck? I thought I got all the grass. We'll get the baler back out. Actually, no, we have not. I have a big fuel consumption mod in, but this is like the most I've actually driven equipment. So it's really actually putting that mod to the test. This tractor would still only be at like a quarter of a tank, if like three quarters of a tank, if I didn't have the mod in. Ugh. Uh, actually, I'm not selling these. These are all going to be used for the videos once I start getting cattle. All of the silage bales are going to be used for TMR. And then I got to do some straw contracts so I can get the straw bales for the bedding. And I think I also... Hold on. Thinking for a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. 
I gotta remember the mixture for total mixed rations. Okay. Okay, straw hay and silage. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, I don't think they take grass bales. <laughs> Because I put it back at the shed when I went to go grab the other implements. We're gonna try and get the last of these bales over here and then we'll go fill it up and grab the bale. The deal with the beep for a couple of seconds here. I don't know if there will be another series like the Murphy Brothers. Because I got four rails, five bales to go. That beep is getting annoying. Yes, I have fuel on high in the consumptions, but I also have two high fuel usage mods in. So it's the only way you can actually like make it so you can technically run out of gas. Well, fuel. A little bit longer on the beeps. I got three bales. We're hauling all three of those back next time. Hello, Tristan. Glad you could join us again. Currently against the clock trying to not run out of fuel. I got three bales left, and we're hauling all three of them back this time. Nope, I'm not going to run out of fuel, because we're going to grab these three bales, and we are going to unload and run back to the fuel pump. Last bale, besides that little string of grass that I'm going to come back with the baler and get. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, throw them off. What a trooper. I'm going to get a bumper sticker on this thing that says the Dirk Tractor. This is the Dirk Mobile. Because it is a trooper. There we go. Actually, how full is that tank? It's got 24,000 liters in it. How much does that one hold? Oh, that's still got... That's got a ton of it in it. I didn't even scratch that. I take the bale spike off.
It helps reduce spam. Yeah, it's, that's uh, that's what the no caps thing is for, basically. One more hay bale sitting down here. Phew. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I got the baler now, it's technically a counterweight. Technically I should run around and grab all of those spots, but I'm not about to. Efficiency. Hang on a minute. Oh, shoot. Yeah, screenshot. Right as I drive it into a lake. That'll probably be in the next thumbnail. Actually, this goes over here. Or will go over here. A pond, yes. Technically, could also be a lagoon. A very fancy lagoon. Leave that there. Let's get this loaded up quick. I bet it doesn't even phase this Oliver that this tractor is gonna phase all these bales on it. This Oliver's a brute. An absolute unit. There we go. Uh, let's get the Oliver out of here. Oh, look at her! Didn't even skip a beat! What up? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on to it. Dude, the Oliver coming in clutch. Hang on a second, another one. Another, another screenshot. Oh, that one bale is just saying sayonara. Oh, no, 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 stop, stop it, stop, no, 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 oh, it fell apart, hang on, we're gonna get this screenshot whether it wants to be done or not. All just because I wanted to get a screenshot. There we go. Come on, baby. 
I just need one screenshot. There we go. There we go. Cut that off. Now we just gotta wrap all these. Wait a minute. I'm confused by that statement. I don't know what to think of that. That Oliver was a beast, and I think the Dodge is going to be the same way. That thing is an animal. Good night, Micah. We'll see you as well as Gamer Boy. I saw you guys were all leaving, so... Have a good night, guys. Actually, I'm just going to load these by hand. It's getting too late for this. I'd like to get done by tonight, please. Yeah, it is Dodge, but I wouldn't put my money on the transmission. It's a five. It's a five-speed though. It's it's a manual. It should be able to take it. Yippers! We'll see you later, Mason. Oh, thank you, Chad, for the one dollar super chat. You are, you are beast. You are, you are Chad. You, you, you are real Chad. Eh. And there we go. I wish I could strap the marshmallow. Marshmallow, um, you get the toolbox. Yeah. There we go. Do we do we stack it three high? I think we can do three high. We're doing the three high. I think the I think we're I think the ram can handle it. You know, no, no, we're not doing that. We'll load the Chevy back up once we do that. She actually dug a little harder than I thought she would. Didn't even skip it. Not even phasing it. Doesn't like to stop, though. What a beast. Once again, more screenshots. And I'm driving on the yard. Actually, we're going to get this screenshot down by the road. Just because we can. Right down by the driveway. Yeah! If I can get this. Oh, reverse is white and hard. Watch out. There we go. Oh. Hang on, guys. I'll look at the chat here in just a second. Oh. Now let's see if I can get back in the driveway. That'll be the real kicker. 
Oh, this truck does not have any sort of turn radius whatsoever. Oh, just get through. There we go. Whoa! I lost it there. We're just going to do this. Back the dodge in. Because we can. <laughs> Clearance much? Yeah, we're just going to park it outside. It's a little too tall. Thought it might be able to fit. No, no, don't, 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 no, no. There we go. Perhaps the trailer there. Park that there. Let's get the Chevy unloaded. It doesn't want to die. Ah, come on, baby. Give the Chevy some love. She's not liking this. Get it, baby! Oh, shoot. Getting stuck on the building. Oh! Yeah, baby! Oh, don't get stuck in the grass. Do not get stuck in the grass. I got stuck in the grass. Oh! On. Keep momentum, keep momentum, keep momentum. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, come on, 350. Oh, she just, just don't want to go. There she goes, there she goes. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! This 350 just does not like to do this. It was not meant for hauling this. Slippage mod is like the death of this truck. There we go, there we go. Give it some clutch, give it some clutch. I can smell it from here. Yeah, baby, come on. Come on, baby, don't let me down now. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get it back in here. Is there a reason this trailer just does not want to move? Because I bet if I hooked this thing up to the Dodge, this would have been done in five seconds. Oh! Come on! <laughs> Oh, got stuck again. The problem is you can't give it too much gas, otherwise it literally sinks. The traction mod does, does not like this truck. I, I literally, I don't know why this truck just does not want to work. No, no, no. Not you. You. Come here, you. Get some momentum. Chevy needs more than mud tires to get this job done. It just, it will not back up. Oh, no! I'm done for the night.
I'm just done. I can't do it. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. I don't know where it is. I don't know No. Okay. Well, I know of one way to fix this. Well, that didn't help. Okay. Um. Hang on. I have one way to do this. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get you out of here first. Oh, now you want to move. Okay, we're going to get you out of here. Because this thing is just being an absolute pain in my behind. And we're going to do this... Because the truck has no turn radius. We're gonna run over the Chevy. Hang on. Since the Ram's got some power, you guys know what we're about to do. <laughs> yeah! Dodge power! It's the power of the marshmallow. Now, where's my bobcat? I got an idea. I'm just going to call this at five hours, and I'll stack the bales in the morning. Ram saved the day. Although this would tear holes in the sides of these things and basically somewhat ruin them. It's the only thing I can do right now. Hello. There we go. That's better. Yes, I did. Oh, Ram saves the day. Well, at this rate, I think that's what we're probably going to end up doing. I'm going to park this stuff. It is four hours and 55 minutes of me just wanting to die now. <laughs> Don't agree? But we will uh, finish it off. We'll get things at least cleaned up here. Organize the bales a little bit. Put some stuff inside. And I'll, I will end up finishing this a little bit later. Because this is... This is this is too much. Just like that's going to be to fix that corner. The Chevy's going to need a tune-up. That is a... That is a... That is a certain. I do need some rest. I've been, I've been at it for a bit. I'm, I'm going to call it here. 
I'm just gonna very nicely turn all this stuff off. Put that down. Then let's get this shut off if it's not already. Okay, that's already off. But I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I still got this many to wrap and clean up, put away, and get all prepared, and you all know what we gotta do. We're gonna go hook this back up to the truck, and I'm gonna go run upstairs in that house and go sleep. Because I need it. Graham definitely came out on top today, that is for certain. Oh, boy. Well, that went a lot longer than intended. It's gonna... Do that. Do that. And shut these. Two seconds. Two seconds. Eh. Oh, it's just right there. But that is going to do it for the stream, guys. Thank you all so much for sticking around. Three extra hours. I am going to go inside. Sleepy, sleepy. And uh, probably watch the news. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by on this one. We are going to wrap this up where we started. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. So be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. See if we can hit that 500 likes uh, at some point. But... It was a great stream. It was fun. And the dog's going nuts. Bye-bye now. I didn't forget the burnout. I did not forget the burnout. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't leave yet. Don't leave. Don't leave. Gotta go do a burnout on Main Street. I gotta actually get on tarmac, though. For the fact that otherwise it'll still spin. Okay, hang on. Oh, we killed it. Oh. Oh, hang on. Gotta get out of here before we spin and get stuck in the grass. There we go. It's not really a burnout, but it's close enough. We'll drift it. <laughs> oh, hold on to it. Oh, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Took out some guy's mailbox. Poor guy. Okay, I might get sued. We're good. Bye bye. <laughs> Do a guy do a burnout and get stuck in a guy's driveway. Yeah! Americana! That guy's dead. <laughs> okay, now we're good. I gotta go to bed. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>